I don't think we played a long, long retro game in a while now. I mean, besides Resident Evil, of course, but that's like a two-day session. This won't be another long one. Good one for the weekdays. The planet possessed two souls. I was giving all those quintet stories. Oh no. Is this story deep, Claw? Oh no. It's very quintet. It's so deep. What's up, Stonebone? Holy cow. Is this Mars? Yeah, everyone in the chat doesn't know what game this is. I'm gonna refrain from saying the name. Give me a second. Oh my god. They love going around- like, Quintet loves the idea of, like, time. Cause spoiling my, uh, my Wikipedia notes. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Well, is this considered a Chrono Trigger ripoff? Because, you know, I see the clock. No, it's too unique? Damn. Maybe this is Quintet's, like, final fruition of their, like, what they always wanted to do when they make, yeah, their magnum opus. Holy cow, this is getting deep. <gasps> Are we gonna hear the chime? One chime equals one hour? <gasps> Wait, what? That's not a clock. I don't know what the hell that means. Well, they you hope they re remake the Quintet trilogy? Yeah, well, they remade Act Razor. I, I would at least love them to, like, translate it and bring it over. Alright, guys. A lot to talk about. Unfortunately, I'm gonna refrain from saying the title of this game. As a content creator and streamer, it is too much on the line and way too risky to say it. But I'll call it Terra for now, so you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys have never heard of this game, but it is part of a low-key trilogy that started with, I think, Soul Blazer was the first. Not Sky Blazer, Soul Blazer. And then the second in the series was called Illusions of Gaia. And this is the final third one. This is regarded as one of the greatest action RPGs ever made, and one of the best in the Super Nintendo era. This is also Quintet's last hurrah. Who said that? I didn't say that. Wikipedia said it. And unfortunately, it didn't pop off as well. Only for the people that actually played it. Nobody knows about this game because, well, for a trilogy, none of the names are even remotely similar. And this game uh, never came out in North America. It came out in Japan, and then it was translated and brought to uh, Europe and Australia. So that's why you guys have never heard of it. But it's apparently an amazing game. And we're going to play it. So it's like an action RPG. I'm sure it's going to play like Illusions of Gaia. And Soul Blazer. I don't know who this is. I have no idea. There's still time to release it. This would have saved Quintet if people knew about it. It's very odd that they didn't bring it to North America. Very, very odd. You would think that would be, like, their absolute priority. Especially with the success of, like, you know, Link to the Past. Yo, hey, what's up, Hennessy? Yeah, I was just talking, like I said, 
Scorn says that if I really need to say the name of the game, uh, he'll come into the Discord and say it for me, just for security reasons. And I have you as backup as well, if you want to come in and say it for me. But for now, I'll just call it Terra. Yeah. I'm sure you guys understand. Because we're going to have a lot of people come into the chat and be like, Vesper, what game is this? Am I supposed to watch this, Qual? Or is this spoilers? Who's that fishing? Is that me? Even that is too risky space. Interesting compromise, though. Oh, let me know if the volume is good, if it's loud enough. If you guys need me to bump it up a bit, I will. <laughs> should I use default name or should I put in my name? Should we go canon name? Arc is canon name. Arc. Mm, I think I'll use my name, and then for the other characters, if there are other characters, maybe, uh... No, you guys! Oh my god. You guys gotta be careful with your jokes today. You guys are all on the razor's edge. Why can't I delete this? Oops. What's going on here? What? Four letter name entry? Well, I'm screwed then. Holy cow. I think you put spaces. I will go be Ark then. The game obviously wants me to be Ark. Guys, please. The jokes. Please stop. Man, is this the first RPG where you wake up in your bed? Are you alright? You look like you're having a nightmare. I've been having these strange dreams. Hey, the main character talks. He keeps having the same dreams. I should go outside. Crystal blue is in the air, and it's very pretty. What's crystal blue? Crystal blue is in the air. Okay. That's odd. Main character talks equals immersion ruined. Interesting. I, I make sounds when I run into walls? Kind of realistic. What's that? What's this? Oh, level one. Oh, you gain levels in this game? I already like it. Okay, so I can run. Whoa. I'm like letting go of the direction and you like, when you run and stop, you slide a bit. That's cool. Can none of the buttons do anything else? Levels in RPG, you don't say. Say that to Zelda. Take this. Who's that? Who's this? Who are these people? Ellie, wake you up. Woohoo! The hot couple. Wait, what? Isn't that my mom? The elder told me something before. Crystal blue are the tears of the outside world. Oh, so it's rain? I wonder what he meant. Okay, Elder sounds like he's cuckoo. Wait, what does that say? Comfy bed. Comfy bed. Wait, what? Did I just go to sleep? Is that bad? It's 
me in real life. Ugh. Hey, how dare you, Ark? You can go hungry today. Oh, shit! These people know about what's going on in the world? Just imagine waking up and grabbing a jar. Just... <sighs> Spare me excuses. I'm gonna go to the elder about this later. What? Snitch. I'm gonna eat these damn apples, too. I saw that. You didn't see shit. What are you gonna do about it? MLG. <laughs> Someone, help. The hell? Someone locked behind this door? Ugh. This guy's blocking this jar. <laughs> I heard you ruined everything over there at Weaver's. And before that, you swiped all the pumpkins at the garden. You sure never get away? Okay, so my character's an asshole. You know, the one that the elder said you mustn't open? When you go past it, I get this spooky feeling as if someone is calling my name. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? There's some tough guy arc. Oh my god. I really like all these characters are really not liking me so far. You should be ashamed. Everyone's judging me. You got a good arc. I wish Ellie would come wake me up. Holy shit. Who's this guy? I want to go outside and see Crystal Blue. The guy's telling me I'll go blind if I see it. What the hell does that mean? It's just rain. Why are you so mean? Oh yeah, Ark, the Elder was calling for you. Maybe another lecture? Oh shit, I can't leave? No. Uh -oh. oh, I didn't see this door. Oh, I can't even- Oh, can I open this one then? Nope. Oh, this guy looks like an Elder, and his name is Elder. Ark, I'm here. I hear that yesterday you ruined all the weavings at the weavers. I don't know what weavings are. Why do you always misbehave? Uh, I'll make an excuse. I didn't do it. It was the chickens. It's their fault. Well, it was me that chased them into the weavers' place, but... Enough of your feeble excuses. Go apologize at once. Yeah, where's the weavers? Quit playing games. It's the house north of here where Ellie lives. Then get going. Oh, shit. Can I open these? You meddler. Who granted you the right to open that chest? Uh, how about this one? Uh. Well, you can't stay awake forever, Elder. You gotta sleep sometime. Alright, let's bounce. Music's pretty good in this game. Who's this guy fishing? He's just looking at me. Not even a nibble. He's salty because he can't get any fish. What's the sign say? Who are you? You can see things reflected in crystal blue. 
I can see people places I've never seen before. It's really neat. What the hell does that mean? Oh my god, why does every town have a well like this? Is this a secret? So, in the other games, uh, you, like, build the world around you. Quintet's all about building the world. Even an act raiser. We'll see if there's anything like that in this game. And they love deep stories. Hey, it's a magic shop. Who are you? Magi Rock stores magic spells. Consider it a bottle for keeping magic sealed. Okay, these guys look like Sith Lords. Mm -hmm. When you obtain Magi Rock, you shall bring it to me. They sure like to laugh a lot. Okay. So, uh, I, re I started the new series, guys. We did it last night, and then I released the video this morning, and everyone seems to like it. So that makes me really happy. And that's something that we can do to kill some time until this summer. Uh, everyone likes it. I'm really happy about that. Yo, what's up, Lucas? So yeah, guys. <laughs> Link has been, uh... Because I got so much bad flack uh, from the South American community, uh, because, you know, I said Laura is the wackest character ever created. And then I said she sh we won't ever come back in Street Fighter VI. I had to think of a way to restore everyone's faith. So Link here has been translating my videos into Portuguese. Uh, Brazil Portu Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And even added Portuguese titles to the videos. Yeah. So, shoutouts to Link. Uh, one day, he told me he was my number one fan. I said he was full of shit. But, I really think he is. Okay, what can I help you with? Select up, down. But, uh, how much does this cost? Bulbs? Wait, the money's called bulbs? <laughs> what about the Ed team movie? Well, <laughs> I don't know if it's good if Ed's in Street Fighter 6 or not because the Ed community will come after me one way or the other. Oh, uh, by the way, Link, um, Mir wanted me to talk to you, and he wanted to ask you about the program you use or whatever to help with the translation, because Mir said he would like to translate his own videos in Italian when he does his videos. Yeah, we're going full international, boys. Okay, what the hell am I doing here? What's going on? Okay, left and right... Cycle is the items that I have no idea what any of these are. And this is quantity. Medium ball cure. Hex rod. What is going on? And I have zero dollars. You're a bit short on cash, sir. <laughs> cool, this is like you when you had to go get a suit. You like see the price and you're like, uh, one second, I need to make a phone call. There's a button to see the description? Oh, really? Oh, shit, hold on a second. Restore its health. Oh, here we go. That's a odd system. Oh, there's poison in this game? Oh, no. Strength plus four, made of sturdy wood. <gasps> there's gear in this game? Oh, I can already tell I love this game. Uh, you're a bit short on cash, sir. So far, the only thing weird about this game is when you run and stop, you slide. Which, I know this is gonna get me killed. 
I wonder what crystal blue is. Is it harmful to my crops? This is harmful to your crops. I'm gonna hit him over the head with it. What is this, pumpkins? He doesn't care. I wish I can jump like you. Did you see it? I can jump good now. <gasps> Guys, you know what this is? It's a tutorial. That's a tutorial. What's up here? Pick up the pumpkin with the face? There's one with the- oh yeah, there is. Yo, quit it! Who's this guy? It's a talking pumpkin. Strange. Alderaan's got nothing on this. <laughs> this is apparently a very legendary game. What am I doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm milling greens to make flour for baking bread. This mill is well made. I wonder who thought of something like this. Uh oh. I have a feeling I'm gonna find out. Wow, there's like three doors here. You better like this game, Vesper, or what? You guys call me whack anyways, no matter if I like it or not. What's the switch? Oh, I can stop it? Do I want to do that? Or else I'll be sad. The gears have stopped, darn it! Who's responsible for this? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna look for him, though. Who is this guy? Gotta feel like I worked like this a long time ago. Oh man, he's, he's getting, like, weird nostalgia. Poor guy's been working flowers his entire life. Let me turn it back on so this guy doesn't get angry. What does he say now? Let me come back here. Okay. It says the same shit. Alright, let's bounce. Go up here. Oh, chickens. Why is every town have chickens? I can't lift them up! Absolutely unplayable. Okay, that was my house. Oh. Are you up to no good again? Man, these guys are like just creeps everywhere in this game. <gasps> Who's this? Fortunes. <laughs> Everyone who uses magic in this game likes to laugh, all creepy. Let's see your fortune, then. Uh-oh. Tell me about Street Fighter VI. Will it succeed? You have the look of trouble about you. You best take care. Hee hee hee. Magic works with laughter. I think magic just makes you cuckoo. You know? Magic just makes you cuckoo. So the next live video we're working on, guys, I took a little sneak peek. And we're going over the match footage, probably, and the revamped version of the first trailer, which includes the Nash teaser. It's gonna be super hype. Nash teaser. I wonder what it is. Man, why is everyone, like, losing their marbles in this town? Come play with us. No. Can I go into this one? What are these bubbles in the air? What the hell is this? Whack Fighter 5. You guys are a bunch of haters. Please don't teach the kids any more bad games, okay? 
just yesterday threw and broke all the vases here. And then they suck at throwing. Give me these damn apples. Ark, I saw that. I'm not allowed to go up today because Crystal Blue is flying. Oh, maybe those bubbles is the Crystal Blue? And that's what's making everyone go crazy? Nash won't be in Street Fighter 6. Feels bad, man. Feels good, man. Watch Nash comes back and he has two gems in his head. <gasps> Sniffle. I had this really scary dream. I dreamt that everyone turns into ice. Oh my god. Sounds like Silent Hill. Infinity Gemstone. <coughs> Vesper Froze. Ooh. Cool, you can like run down. We're waiting for Ellie because she's going to play with us later. Okay. Mama said boys and girls are bound by a promise from an earlier life. Were you and Ellie's friends from the past? Uh, I think the game is trying to tell me something, but I don't understand. Let me go in here. Who are you? What is the dark? You didn't come to cause trouble again, did you? If you did, I want you out of here. I'm gonna apologize. I, th <laughs> I th thought maybe I did a bad thing the last time. Wow, that was a good apology. <laughs> <coughs> you pour our souls into our weavings. Don't you ever repeat that kind of foolishness again. <gasps> it's Ellie. You should tone down your mischief. This, the weavings. That's a metronome? No. That could be one of those uh, dancing plant toys that move when they hear music. Who are these? Who are these ladies? Look, they're weaving. That means they're making clothes. Ellie's weavings are endowed with a special power of evoking happiness. I want to become an artisan weaver like Ellie someday. Okay, Ellie's good at making clothes. Who are you? What's embroidering me? I draw pictures with threads on cloth. Is that what embroidering means? You know what's weird? Uh, you can't just walk up to an NPC and just talk to them. It's strange. You have to, like, walk up to them, and then they turn their head towards you. You see, you see how it takes a while? I can't actually talk to her until her head faces me. It's really weird. Only a few NPCs do this. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Still there, Hennessy. Because they're busy? Ellie should be downstairs. She's weaving something the Elder asked for. Wait, didn't I just talk to her? Krista. Oh, shit. So what do I do now? I talk to literally everyone. Oh, I should talk, go back to the Elder, maybe, because I apologized? It adds to the immersion. I am immersed. Uh-oh. It's no good, the door won't budge. 
Even if three of us pushed it, it won't open. It's not locked, but... Hey, Ark! Just the guy we're looking for. That's me. <coughs> the elder has left. So there's this... There's this something we wanted to try. There's this something we wanted to try. Okay. There's something we want to try. This blue door. The one that we're not supposed to open. Exposition. We want to see what's behind it. We tried everything, but we can't get it to open. You want to give it a shot? You bet your ass I do. That sounds cool. I'll give it a go. Way to go, Ark. Maybe you can do it. Let's do it right now. Man, I like these guys. They're all go-getters. Are you chicken out? Some big hero. Whoa, peer pressure. We shouldn't. If you said so. <gasps> They'll stop this. The elder always says there's something in there we must never touch. This guy's a snitch, I can tell already. We should get rid of him. Oh, they all say the same shit. Darn, I can't get this to budge. Uh, throw a jar at it. Hey, there's a crack in the door. Way to go, Ark. Holy cow! That actually worked. How's someone supposed to figure that out? They tell you? How is a, a six-year-old supposed to figure this out? Yeah, it's open. Way to go, Ark. Uh-oh. Time to go to the dungeon. The secret dungeon. <gasps> help! Someone, help me! Uh-oh. Not good. You guys hear something? <laughs> I think I got a stomach ache. Oh my god, this guy's a wuss. Me too. My head sort of hurts. Oh my god. <coughs> That's me when the chat asks me to play KOF. Oh, my stomach hurts, guys. My head hurts. I should stop the stream. You open it, so you take care of it. Okay. I'm going inside. Holy shit, where's the lights? Holy cow. Where does this go? To the center of the earth? Get me down. Who's that? What is that? Ow. No! This seal can only be broken with strength and a calm soul. Soothe your soul. What does that mean? Touch this box? Oh, my eyes. This was in someone's house. Yeah, it was in my house. That sure was cramped. I'm free. It spoke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Yomi! Oh no, not Yomi. Any name but Yomi. Uh-oh. But you're wrong. The Foggy feared his people will enter the world inside this box. <coughs> For the innocent folk here, the box's significance won't be clear. Don't be so thick. You're holding it. Wait, I'm holding the box? Whoever breaks the seal in the box gains the right to own it. From now on, you can go to and from inside the box by pressing the select key. Oh my god, no, what is this confusion? I'll give you a personal tour of this here. Oh no, what's going on? Who thinks of this shit? What? Baji? Wait, what's going on? Why is there a library in the box? Is this like a... Whatever, I'll just say foggy. 
It's like a genie lamp. Oh my god. I'm already, I'm already overwhelmed. What do I do? There's so many yellow words. Telling me so many things. Oh god, no. Check it in a dungeon to see where you are. It's like I got my own hub I can access at any time. Holy cow. How does he know I'm gonna be in a dungeon? I don't wanna go to the next room. Oh no. To use one, equip it and press the X button. Oh god. This really is Elden Ring. Oh my god. A whole hole. A whole hole. There's a whole hole in the three rooms, item, armor, and weapon. To trash something, stand in front of a hole and call me. Oh no. God. Be careful. You have to be equipped with a weapon to fight. Okay, that makes sense. Why is there like thousands of rooms? I just met this guy and I'm like... He's telling me things I've never seen before. You should go to the weapon room again. You'll find something that awaited freedom with me. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, it better be a two-handed sword. Okay, what am I doing? Where am I going? Why can't I use anything? Yeah, I see the picture of the sword. I see this glowing spark thing. The seal has been undone. Can you hear me? I have a way to hear for someone who could use me at will. Humans. Upon gaining intelligence, will learn of my existence. Oh no. Using me, humans will gain power and expand their world. And time will revolve as it ever has. Keto diet? Oh no. Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess. I don't know what the hell you are. Then take me in your hands exactly as your soul desires. What is that? Is that a spear? <laughs> it looks like it took a liking to you. <laughs> oh no, they're copying Bleach again. Looks like you got company, Ark. Best get outside. Uh oh, the elder is gonna kick my ass. But it's okay, I got a spear. Oh shit, it's Ellie. Uh oh. I heard that you came in here. Uh-oh. What is that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's a small town. Dude, there's snitches everywhere, Jaeger. Don't you remember that one guy? He's like, oh, my stomach hurts. Or we shouldn't do this. Oh no, she's frightened. Why she feels so scared? You're just being paranoid. Wait, what? Oh, what the hell? 
Uh oh. What did you do to Ellie? Ooh, scary. But right about now, everyone in the village should be like that. Uh oh. It's not my fault. I was just trapped inside that box. A way to get that girl back there to normal. Get out of this cozy village and explore the world you live in. You should be able to discover the future that's been invested in the box. What a fucking story so far. This is crazy. So the story so far is... We opened a box. We released this guy. And everyone turned into ice? Damn. No, oh, Ellie's frozen. Should I put her in the freezer or something, or just leave her here? Oh no, it's all my friends, they're frozen. Oh, I can open the chest now. Or not. What the hell? Oh no. I'll tell you what these guys were doing. This guy turned into ice right in front of this guy, and he's like, What the fuck? Are you okay? And then he turned into ice. That's what happened. He walked up to him, he's like, What? And then he turned into ice. And grab these apples. Oh my god, he's blocking the door. Why is he not frozen? Hey, what happened here? Tell me, Gramps. You enormous fool. <laughs> nice translation. It is you who has brought about this situation. I decreed that the door must never be opened because I feared of this. Bro, if if the stakes were that high, I'm pretty sure a, a fucking mysterious door wasn't good enough, bro. That shit should have been buried, dude. Are you kidding me? He blue sealed it and took you three pots to break it? Dude, you can literally hear someone from behind the door saying they need help. What did you think was gonna happen? You cannot leave the people the way they are. Do you wish to return them to normal? Does it matter? Jesus. Darn right, if you know how, tell me now. So be it, Ark. Go out of the village. Five towers await you. Oh, God. Four temples? Or five temples? What's outside of the village? And what do you mean by towers? The gate is open. But have you the ability to succeed? Oh, God. What a story. Where are you going, asshole? You didn't tell me what to do. You mean this? What's in the chest armor? Ask what the t <laughs> I'm tired. Gramps, I'm tired. Close your eyes. I'll rid you of your ills. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. I got regen? What are the towers? You. No. No one here has ever set foot outside. Okay. So the five towers is like the MacGuffin for missions. My favorite hidden gem on the Super Nintendo? 
Anyone who says this is my favorite game, pirates video games. And it's very bad. <laughs> I mean, unless you live in the EU. What exactly was it? It is from the world that is opposite ours. By freeing it, you upset the natural balance of this world. But its real significance you will come to learn yourself. I don't know. Okay, we have all the information. Do I get these chests now? Take what you find in that chest. Oh, these gems money? A ball, that's a healing item. Gold, got it. Alright. So, so far, our questions aren't answered. What is this? Wait, he never saw the gate before? Really strange. Another thing, too, is when the old dude was like, Has anyone been outside before? And he's like, you, and then he cut himself off, and he's like, no one has been outside before. Everyone is super sus. Oh no, the fishing guy got frozen? That sucks. That would suck if there was like a fish on the line and then he got frozen right after. Are the magic people frozen? Of course not. And the shopkeeper? Is the shopkeeper frozen? Nope, he's just chilling. He's like, where's all the customers, man? What the hell's going on today? So slow. Oh no. Light from the Elder's Mansion froze everyone. Did you do this? No. Oh no, this guy got frozen? Not the guy working the flower. Oh my god. Oh, not the chickens. Whoa, my eyeballs. What the hell is this over map? What were they thinking when they made this map? What is this? Trippy? <laughs> You just made me think of something, the stupid poker game I was watching. I had trips. <laughs> I had trips. <laughs> sick. <laughs> that guy was just like, sick. Oh, it, it, would be, it would suck to be a poker player, Cole. You'd be going through shit like that every day, just, ugh, oh, sick. Wow, like, there's literally five towers that we can go to, guys. I have to go on them in order. Well, this is the first tower. So Vesper, I better ask now that the game actually started backseeing or no, there's missable stuff. Yeah, you can backsee me, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's missable stuff in the first part after the five towers, so remember. Yeah, I'm sure the chat will let me know. Am I in the inside of a can? I don't know. Oh, he's getting height. Who's that? It's Doorman.
Whoa! Face on gate. I am the guardian. What business you hear? Uh... I want to save my friends. Then step forth into the tower. Within wander countless souls of living things. Reach the uppermost floor and gain the power to control the world. Uh, okay. What the hell's going on in this game? Can I go to the side? <gasps> Level 1! 28 life! $50! How do I attack? Equip your weapon. Press the select. <gasps> Whoa, look! We jumped in the box! Oh, what the hell? Why am I not controlling me in here? The map? <gasps> wow, dungeon maps! Holy cow, it reveals the entire dungeon map? Why is it still written in Japanese? Oh, never mind. It's just so blurry, it looks like it's in Japanese. Got it, okay. You never looked at this map? Maps are useful. Hey man, it even gives you, like, information. Change. What the fuck does that mean? Blue, green, red. Keep it blue. Is this text speed or text type? Gauge. We're gonna have to fuck around with that later. Oh my god, there's so much information here. Oh no. Okay. Uh -huh. You can crawl in this game? How? It doesn't even tell me how. Some large objects can be pushed. For tightrope walk- oh no. Tightrope walking, that doesn't sound good. Your standard attack. Hard monsters. Oh, do I get a mash? Speedy monsters. Uh, is that a run attack? Oh, look! Is this, uh... What's it called, Qua? This move. Stinger. Vesper, you got to read the instruction booklet. For flying over elevated monsters. Elevated monsters. Oh my god, look at all these different attacks. X-Guard. Oh, you can block in this game. Crazy. Let's open this door. Here's my weapon. Yes. You're equipped. This is crazy. Why would they make the menu system a, a, like a box tower? It's so odd. Wait, I wasn't wearing clothes this entire time? That's fucked up. They wanted to be unique? Wait, I can equip it? You're equipped. Oh, these are like probably special items. The whole hole. Trash what? The whole hole. Oh my god, what is going on here? What the fuck? I'll be right back. I'm back. Oh yeah, Qua. Cool. Uh, uh, we went to Don Donaire Lover today. And they renovated their place and they got like new manager and stuff. And their menu is like godlike. And they have pizza now. And Willie got a Donaire pizza. And it was insanely good. And super cheap. It was only like 14 bucks for a large. And it was a it was donair pizza, and the cheese was like super good. 
So this is gonna be like my main pizza place if Versados is closed and shit. Yeah, Donair Pizza. Donair Pizza is like Donair meat, cheese, tomatoes, and Donair sweet sauce. Willie like Willie likes it to get with tomato sauce though, and then he gets a uh, sweet sauce dip and he dips the pizza in the sweet sauce. Anyways, it's really good. Yeah, Donair lover. Yeah, seriously, the the place is like really cleaned up. But like for pizza places in my area, it's just there's so many shit choices, dude. Like, Domino's is way, it's way too much sugar. The the fucking crust is so much sugar in it. It's, it tastes so gross. And uh, they're really like, I don't know. A lot, a lot of these pizza places always have shit cheese. The cheese isn't good. Little Caesars doesn't have the quality. Pizza 73 is not even pizza. Pizza Hut like went out of business. You live in New York, Etron? Oh, then what do you even complain about, bro? You probably have some of the best pizza places to even go to in New York. If you live in New York or Chicago, oh, you'll be laughing. Yeah, how can you even be complaining about pizza? Man, you have no idea how bad the pizza is in Canada, bro. Very few places. You have to find a mom and pop shop. There's a pizza place on every corner in New York. What's it what's it like living in New York guys? Like what is that like? Is it always like really noisy and it just packed with people? Like there's so many people on a little island. I just can't imagine living in New York what it would be like. It's complicated. I can imagine guys. I I mean I saw this uh this video, it's like a channel that they go over like big millionaire homes. And they went, this guy, they went over a million dollar apartment in New York, and it looked like a bum shack. It wasn't even impressive. It was just literally an apartment in the heart of New York, and it was a million dollars. I was like, holy shit. Not every New Yorker lives in the big New York City where we can eat some of the best pizza. Yeah, but you're on a fucking little island, right? So, I can't imagine it taking long to get to the city. The, the, the transportation must be insane over there. Must be buses up the ass and trains. Everyone in New York immediately leaves when they retire. No one stays. No shit, hey? For, for the people that live in New York, what are the pros? Like, what, what's, what's good about living in New York? New York? I'm just curious. Okay, how do I get out of this menu? Do I press select? Okay. You got everything there? When you say everything, what do you mean? Like, like every type of store and stuff? Okay, let's see what the combat's like in this game. Stop letting <laughs> assume your location, Utra. Calm down. All the sites and attractions. I think it'd be cool to walk to whatever you need. Yeah. All the opportunities. Dude, I remember... Wow, look at all these attacks. So we got a dash attack? How do we do the slide attack? We have a rapid button press, a jump attack. Oh, it's run, it's run jump attack is the slide. Okay, thanks. Any other attacks I need to know? Can I do the rapid one in the air or while I'm running? The slide has good iframes. Okay, there's iframes. What's block? R, R is block. Uh, it's just R. It's not both. Uh, where did I come from? The bottom? Let me uh, pull out my trusty map to find out. Yep. I came from the bottom. Can I grind enemies? Do I gain XP? Do they respawn when I come back into the area? <laughs> you guys don't mind if uh, off stream I do a little grinding. Since I haven't played any games in like two weeks. Off stream. 
I would recommend against grind unless you need to. Oh no, is it a Chrono Trigger thing? My only memory of New York, like video-wise and seeing it, is uh... I don't know if you guys remember this, uh, way back in the day there's this video of this chick who literally just walked around New York and it went viral and it was just about people like whistling at her and shit. And then it started this giant argument about harassment and stuff. And uh, it got really funny because I don't know if anyone remembers this video. I gotta look it up actually. This is really old. But then uh, uh, someone made a, 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 a. Oh shit, toasted. Someone made a video in response. And they took, like, this underwear model dude, and he walked around the exact same path she did, and he had all these ladies, like, approach him and hit on him. It was really fucking cool. He was, like, the ultimate Chad. He would just walk and not say a fucking word, and all these ladies would, like, approach him and shit. And it just showed it both ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was really cool. So if you find that video, find the one with the dude. It's funny. Vesper wishes he was like that. I'm just saying that's my memory of New York. Hey, we got a Magi Rock. This is really important, right? So are Magi Rocks like, um, like a limited item that I have to collect? Like I have to make sure I don't miss any? Or is it just kinda? Okay. I'm sure I'll understand as I go. Okay, so I can't open this. You just have to understand, Jaeger, that I really like grinding. A lot. That's why I play Diablo. I'll tell you when they grind. Okay. This is an enemy? This flame? Can I move while blocking? No. So my attack hitbox is quite big, like in Soul Blazer and Illusions of Gaia. It doesn't look like I can attack diagonally only uh, up down left right oh shit it stunned me oh my god my eyeballs level up nice You know what drives me crazy? Games, when you level up in the stats, you get a random... Holy shit, that rustles my jimmies. You know what game had that? Dead Rising. Random stats when you level up, Dead Rising. At, when you gain max level, you will be at the same point. But until then, it's really weird. Living things have been transformed into monsters. Like you have saved me, save the others. Okay, so we have to clear all the enemies in the dungeon. Got it. Okay, thank you, floating orb. Then you can save scum? I guess so, but it's still uh, a weird, archaic kind of like mechanic. There's a lot of games like that. Dead Rise in a Canadian game? I don't know if uh, when it started, was it always a Canadian studio? <laughs> I know they changed it. I only played Dead Rising 1. Dead Rising 2 is very good, Jaeger. Very good. I remember there was an achievement where you had to literally play for days without stopping. And it wasn't a great idea on OG Xbox. Yeah, I told the story about that. So uh, the achievement... Whoa, who's this guy? One damage. Oh, man. I 
hate medieval stuff. Wow, you're right about the iframes. The dash has iframes too. <laughs> Eight damage, that's a lot of deeps. Oh no, it's three. Anyways, uh, the achievement is called Seven Day Survivor. And uh, basically, they have like all these crazy food items everywhere. And you have access to the entire mall. And you literally have to survive for seven days. It's not seven days real lifetime, but it's about more than a day real lifetime. And the problem with the achievement was the OG Xbox. Uh, because that was during the Red Ring Saga. And, um... People's Xbox with Red Ring trying to do this challenge. So, when I wanted to do it, I did two tricks. And another thing, too, is that people have lives and it's really hard to do, like, a 24-hour plus challenge. But it was a very sick achievement. But anyways, to do it, I did two clever things. One... I purchased uh, a console fan because I was scared of getting a red ring. It's funny, I've owned many Xboxes, like three, four Xboxes, and I've never got a red ring before, so I got super lucky. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's those fan things. You place the console into vertical mode, and you place it right on the fans. <laughs> and uh, I had it going because I was so scared of a red ring. The second trick, which was super clever, was uh, if you use your controller wirelessly and you will go AFK, the controller will automatically turn off after, I believe, five minutes or either you can set up, set it. And maybe it was 15 minutes. But anyways, well, when your controller disconnects in Dead Rising, it would pause the game for you, which is perfect. So that way you can always safely make sure your character doesn't die because what happens is uh, your character gets hungry and if you don't keep eating food, you'll die because your health drains. That's why it's a survival mode. So you purposely had a wireless and you purposely went AFK to manage your time properly. 14 hours real life time. Thanks, Monkey. Anyways, it's an excellent achievement. Really good. I was very proud of it. Your strength is being tested. Finding alone is not strength. Observation is the solution. Wait, how is finding alone not strength? And how is observing always the solution? When he just talked about fighting. Okay, whatever. I was too poor to endanger my only Xbox 360. Completely understandable. But Dead Rising 1 is just too good. We'll definitely... You know what? We should play it, like, soon at some point. I love Dead Rising. And they made an amazing... It's on PC, and it runs amazing. Man, does the slide do the, the most amount of deeps? This window's cracked. What the fuck? Was it chain? Did I miss something? Guys, did I miss something in that room? Were we good? No? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've only played the very beginning of Dead Rising 3. And, uh, I never played Dead Rising 4, but I've heard from everyone they said it was shitty. It's like, Dead Rising 2? Like, what makes Dead- enough? Like, Dead Rising is so cool, like, the story is awesome too in Dead Rising 1 and 2. The only problem with the game is that it, it turns a lot of people off because it's timed. And I can see that being very frustrating. Because it's, like, inherently a speedrunning game. If people want to take their time, especially when there's so much to explore in that game. Okay, I do three damage. The dash attack did four. Don't play the weave version. The shop until you drop or something like that. Right, there's a weave version. I should check that out too. 
Yeah, the, like I said, the timer thing is the most frustrating thing because it's kind of a game that demands you to to already understand it and play it. It was just a weird, risky thing. The entire Dead Rising story is weird. You know what I mean? Like, first Capcom wanted to start a... Well, Inafune wanted to start a franchise. And they really wanted to push the next gen to its limits because of the amount of zombies they can have on the screen. And then Capcom's like, eh. And then they wanted to cancel it, the project. And then Inafune is such a weasel, he was like, eh, I'm gonna work on it without them knowing. And then they worked on it so much that Capcom had no choice but to finish the project. It was more... It'd be more costly to just cancel it. Yeah, Inafune was a rebel, hey? Oh shit, we just went back to the start. He's a rebel, dude. No, oh, no, Etron's gonna talk about Mighty Number no. Nine. Here we go, dude. Out of all the games that guy has made, you're just gonna bring up Mighty Number no. Nine. If I was Inafune, I'd be so my I'd be so fucking angry if that's how people remembered me by. This guy worked on a ton of shit. Mega Man has lore? Wait, I didn't kill all the enemies on the screen. Am I missing an enemy, guys? I want to make sure I don't miss all the enemies. Are some of them hidden? I explored everywhere. Like, every single room has that sphere enemy, right? Or the, the one I free, right? Because we have to free them all? Is there any way I can indicate if I <coughs> freed everyone? Check mark. <gasps> Look, there's check marks. You can tell. I've literally explored everywhere in this area, though. I hope the enemy's not hidden. I don't like the idea of, of uh, looking for a hidden enemy. Let's see if I go to the next room, if, uh, it gives it a check mark. It does. Odd. Very odd. Whoa, who's that guy? He looks friendly. Man, the sound of me hitting walls is something I have to get used to. Yeah, Arthur's Bosters is such a cool Easter egg monkey. The monsters you fell, their people's souls transformed. Upon overcoming this challenge, they will regain their forms. So saying, Guardian held aloft a- What? Huh? What does that mean? 
ったのね。These guys are more aggressive than the other blue guys. I don't understand what that meant. That was such a poor translation. Maybe he just meant like prepare yourself or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> level up. Do I gain all my health back when I level up? No. Earth is trying to revive the breath of life. Land is on the verge of resurrection. That door leads to the space for land's control. What? What the hell's going on? Oh, there's a door there. This translation sucks ass? Yeah, it's horrible. Maybe I should have got one of those, like, uh, hacked ROMs that have fan translations, because, like, holy shit. I'd like to know what the fuck is going on in this game. Two doors. Maybe four doors. Maybe five. Look, guys, it's all the constellations. Reminds me of that Silent Hill puzzle where we were completely derailed. What sign am I? Uh, Virgo. I don't understand what's going on, guys. What the hell was that? A piece of Play-Doh? Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> the Tesseract. I never expected to tune into Vesper Arcade to see a JRPG. Oh, really? We played a ton. Hey, look, they get their souls back. Are they just gonna continue weaving? Is that the name of the town claw? Wait, can I go back into the tower? Wow, it actually lets me re explore it. Is that the continent I'm living on? I revived a whole landmass. No. Guys, how much more confusing can this be? Wait! This guy is still frozen! What if I threw that jar at him, and then you heard a cracking sound, and then he just fell into like a million pieces like T-1000? I would run right out of the room. I'd be like, uh-oh. Oh, he didn't even know- I, I can't even tell him I defeated one of the towers? Oh yeah, you can- you can heal me. Okay, we got a bunch of those, uh, magic stones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, can I get some, uh... 
crazy glue. Sure, laughing. Okay. What is this screen telling me? A spell for unleashing fire. It says it costs five bucks and one magic stone, and I have three stones total? Okay. Ice ring. Shooting ice. So there's only two rings. Should I buy both these rings? Because it's dirt cheap. I recommend saving it. Okay, I'll save it. Is there things like enemies weak to fire and enemies weak to ice and that kind of shit? What does this shop have again? The guy that's not frozen for some reason? If he was frozen, I can just go to the shop and take all the stuff for free. Is this hex rod stronger than my current weapon? Oh yeah, the healing, the crystal rod heals. Okay, so there's nothing here, let's bounce. So we go to another tower then, I'm assuming? Oh no! What the hell, I walked into it by accident. Am I gonna talk to the door again? Hey, it actually called Tower 2. Oh, it just opens. I don't know. I want to assume it's gonna pick up in difficulty. It says you can push some objects in this game. Jump down in there. Yay. More magic wall. They hate to the statues and the color of their jewel in the forehead. Uh oh. Oh no. Puzzle time. Quinto. Oh, I didn't kill all the enemies. What? So it's not even all the enemies, it's just specific enemies? 30 bones, nice. Oh no. Micra is leaving. Oh, you missed out on a concert? That sucks, bro. To the gem. Look, here's a red one right here. So this is red. And that one's green. I think that's the only red statue in this whole area. And Qua, you're sure I'm not supposed to have spells by this point? Oh, here's another red one. So we have one red statue on each side. Oh, you can push it. Can you push these? No. 
So it's only the red ones you can push. Oh wait, how is this six-year-old supposed to figure this out? Switches that glow gold, what changes do they bring? <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh shit, I shouldn't have hit it until like, I can't unhit it. Fuck, it probably opened up a path on the other side. Probably did. I thought you were wasting your time pushing those statues. Well, they said, hey, some objects can be pushed. And then the other thing's like, pay attention to the gems on the statues. And there was only two red statues, so. comes to a grandfather clock, I'm screwed. Hey, who's that guy? Oh, a crit, nice. What do we got here? Oh, a bulb. So how do I use these bulbs? No magic spells. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting there's a blonde. Do have to, don't tell me to open the box to use the bulbs. Nice. Oh, there's a gate I need to open. Here's two switches. Ah. Ouch. So I see another red statue here. Cast a look. Ark returned the look. What the fuck does that mean? What the hell does that even mean? Who translated this shit? It's RNG? Oh shit, he was trying to do, uh... What's it called? <laughs> Um, the ninja technique, that's like an illusion. It's not taijutsu. Okay. Okay, nice corner him. Yeah, genjutsu. stuns you when you get hit by that. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. Oh. What did that do? This game really wants you to observe. Oh, let me double check. I'll make sure there's no magic rock on the other side. Best friend knows about anime? When it was good, yes. That was a long time ago. 
Hey, it's that guy again. Naruto was never good though, bro. Are you kidding me? You obviously started watching it during Shippuden. Which makes you whack. Free Shippuden was Kino. No, looks like there's a I need to do a puzzle to get to this guy. How do I hit that switch, bro? Alright, is there a statue with a red jewel on its head? No. Does that mean we have to guess? Yeah, like I told you guys, my nephew, he's watching Naruto right now. He's watching the, the censored dub version on Netflix, but he's really enjoying it. No, Shippuden is whack. No, Shippuden is terrible. That's when the series went downhill. The manga is good, though. But the anime is... Ugh. Oh, boy. Okay. Wait, what? Whoa, you can grab these? Whoa! Holy shit, this game's got a lot of puzzles. Oh, I was trying to type something. Vesper, I can finally get all four reps consistently. You rock, buddy. By the way, you're using an Xbox One controller, right? That means your D-pad has digital buttons. So it shall be. Enter. At least I understood what the hell he said that time. Xbox 360? Oh, okay. Oh, right. Yeah, because it's KOF 13. That's good, man. That means you that's the hardest part, right? Um, And you're able to land the super, too? Because when the, when the part comes, when you get to the super, you have to be clutch. You have to be mad clutch. <laughs> you only get one shot. Man, they got they got to throw me a bone in the story, dude. I keep seeing Play-Doh for some reason, and it's just I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, hey, it's rain. On me. Or is that snow? What What is snow in Japanese? Yuki. How's it poppin'? It's pop a loppin', dude. We're just chillin' tonight. I'm just really relaxed, and I low-key don't want to play KOF. And, uh, tomorrow we'll do another live video. We'll just coast. We're just coasting, dude. But yeah, Silver, this whole QB fighting thing in Naru, that's a very small part of it, dude. Very small part of it. I mean, the, the characters in the story is what makes it so good. It's not the fight scenes. I don't understand. Who are these people that are, like, are being set free? The entire town is still, like, captured. Or is this a different town that I can't see? But Shippuden doesn't stray away from that? Well, that's why Shippuden is whack. Vesper, do you think there'll be V-Trigger in Street Fighter VI? Absolutely not. Every Street Fighter has a different mechanic and it's completely different, but 
There might be an install mechanic, it's very possible. I'm going back to town, guys, I'm gonna see if anything changed. Shippuden is whack because the story becomes whack. And characters that have no business being there are there and and build up to things end up in shitty whack ways. I'm in denial, Shippuden is your favorite Shut the <laughs> First off, spoilers. And shut the fuck up. I don't care about that shit. Guys, can someone... I'm kind of lost in the story right now, because I'm seeing people's souls being revived, but not the town. Someone explain me. Is it... I'm just reviving towns that I haven't found yet? Oh, some people in the town? Okay, so I have to find them? I don't know, everyone looks fucking frozen to me. <coughs> I know, but I was kind of hoping I'd be able to talk to some people. Excuse me. Yeah, but be just because it was foreshadowed, Silver, doesn't mean we were able to predict and know exactly how it's going to end. And the way some of the ways they dealt with things and things, it was kind of whack. And then it kind of just dragged on. You can tell what's his name who wrote the story, didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Okay, is this Tower 3? Tower 3. I don't know. Like, every series eventually has to come to an end, you know? Like, I don't like how they dealt with, like, Rock Lee, for example. That's, like, one quick example. Like, I don't- I don't like at all what they did with that character's arc. Right? Or even Guy Sensei, for example. They just became, like, memes. There's some good arcs, but there's some bad ones, too. I'm just giving you guys a small example, like... Like, they explain this entire gate system and how crazy it is, and then, like... Just randomly, guy. I think he's fighting the water dude, and he's like, "Oh!" And then he just opens up like all the gates, like just, just randomly. It's not hype at all. It's just like so, like out of nowhere, and it's just like, "What am I watching?" It just, it just wasn't as well thought out as the beginning, you know? What's going on here? I'm just exploring all the parts. I want to make sure I don't miss any of the enemies. There's platform in this. Which which one's which one's Neji? Which character is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And... Yeah, but that wasn't... That wasn't Shibudin, was it? 
I think that was before Shippuden, though. Yeah, he was the dude that's like, yo. He's like, yo, your fate is sealed. Dude, that, that character, like, for a part of Naruto's story, dude. Bro. That, so that's what I'm telling you, man. The old, the original Naruto is so much better, dude. Like, when Naruto fought Neji in that big exam, the Chunin exam, dude. And that ending part where he, like, dug that, like, he thought he was going to lose and he dug that hole and his nails were just dripping in blood. And how he explained, uh, how that was, like, the worst technique he was at, dude. Man, I teared up on that episode, man. It was so good. I love that shit. It's so well done, dude. It's so well thought out. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. And then, like, dude, the pain arc. Like I said, I don't want to spoil go, spoiler crazy here, but yeah, that pain arc, and then like everyone gets revived. It's just such a cop out. Ugh, dude. There's so many easy examples of why Shippuden's ass, guys. There's too many. Seriously. Everyone's spoiled in chat already. Might as well go full spoilers. Well, I apologize to the people <laughs> who are watching this on YouTube who are getting spoiled. But it's like, fuck, man. Okay. Um, I see a chest here. Uh, hopefully we can return to this room. I see... The maps aren't really well, uh, detailed. To give me information. Man, fuck Baruto, dude. I hate that shit. Fucking Sasuke to fucking kill so many people and then just forgive it. It's so fucking stupid, dude. Some fairy tale bullshit, man. sink this shit? Okay, good. Oh, no. <laughs> Avon, I, I gotta say this again, man. You have, like, the best Twitch name. Your Twitch name is too good. <laughs> I want my corners! I want my fucking... Dude... Oh man, the wire is so godlike. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you wearing as soon? It's like 80 degrees out here. Be for real, man. Oh fuck. There's so many good lines in that show. <laughs> fuck, I can't. You can hit the switches again? Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, okay, I want to make a bridge. That's what I want to do. Instead of, like, trying to walk along this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, no way, games. <laughs> nah, you a businessman. You're gonna handle this like a business. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh. Sorry, guys. Whoa! Gardner appeared. What the hell was that? Do I need spells to hit that enemy? Uh, is that an attack? Yes, yeah, it's an attack. Yeah, we need a prop Joe nickname, exactly, we do.
and the Greek. Is there a way I can hurt this enemy, guys? Because, uh, can I block on? Because I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, I can block. I can't hit him. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, some vodka. Yeah, it wasn't meant to play the sun. Is there a hint? Hinto? Oh, wait, what? I couldn't have heard him last time, I swear. I had to do specific attacks? Okay, it's kind of odd. Oh my god, Baruto, please. No more Baruto, guys. <laughs> oh shit. Another thing about Naruto, too, is once the Shippuden started, they just didn't take a big enough break. And once they finally caught up, the filler episodes just fucking wear you down so hard. And the quality of the animation was fucking terrible, dude. Horrible. Even at the end of the original series. A vacuum? What the hell does that mean? Oh my god, am I at the start of the dungeon? Fuck? Isn't Shippuden like mostly filler? Yeah, it is, but that's because like... They, they couldn't... Because Naruto, obviously, they could have just launched the anime whenever, right? And then they took... <coughs> I think it was... A two-year break or some shit. Then Shippuden came out, and they just could not produce the episodes fast enough, because it was weekly. And you can it, you can easily tell that they were being rushed. And I, I'm telling you, the animation was so fucking bad. And like I said, even at the end of the of the main Naruto series before Shippuden, that big Sasuke Naruto fight. Oh my God, the art is terrible. Sasuke's face. I mean, it looks like you're fucking playing KOF 15. They needed to leave that shit in the oven. And another thing too is their filler episodes fucking sucked. Like, that's another thing too. Like, Bleach? Bleach had some okay filler. Like, that whole Bounce Saga and shit was alright. But Naruto, it's like they have no fucking idea what they're doing on their filler episodes. Like, one is like, what's, Ka <laughs> you know, uh, Kakashi's face look like or fucking... I don't know, Mizuki broke out of jail and he's juiced out of his mind. Like, what is going on? And filler episodes suck because the arcs can't go anywhere because you know it's not canon. The video game finished Shippuden before the anime did? Oh, did it? I didn't even know that. I gotta be careful so I don't get sent out of the dungeon. So the only thing that can hit me is with that sparkle thing? When I'm doing the slide attack, Paul, should I hit him, like... With the dive kick or the, literally the sliding part? Or does it do the same damage? Dive kick? Okay. Bleach was even worse than Naruto, to be honest. Well, at least the manga. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Bleach manga. Like, Bleach was awesome. All the way up to... The... the the end of the Soul Society arc. Like, after that arc, it just... I don't know. I just lost interest in it. Fuck! Okay, is there a way I can grab this chest in this area? 
Because this whole Aizen shit, dude, that villain is so whack. The villain of, like, he's always, like, 50,000 trillion steps ahead of you at all times. Like, fuck, dude, that guy's a meme. Oh, there's an entrance here. I never saw this. What? What the hell? That meme was all- Exactly, y'all. Seriously, exactly. I don't know. Hey, man, like, you know, all those Shonen Jump animes are gonna fucking wear you down eventually. That's just how it is. That goes for everything, you know? All TV shows and shit like that. It's gotta come to an end at some point. They just saw too much money in Naruto. But it, it is really a shame. Um, it's really a shame that they had to rush the animation. The animation looks so bad because, you know, even if you come back to it one day and you even edit it and to your liking and you skip all the filler and stuff, you'll come back to it and it just, you know, doesn't age well because of the fucking. What? What is this, guys? That's cheap. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, okay, the item wasn't that important. Oh, 20 deeps! Uh, I haven't got into One Piece. I don't know if I want to. The animation for the... F <coughs> oh, the pain fight? Bro. And you know what I hate too? It's not even to do with animation. I fucking hate in Shippuden for some reason they go ham on the bulb effect. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's when they take the the drawing and they make it look like a bulb and it zooms in and zooms out. I fucking hate that. And they go they go ham on in Shippuden. That stupid bulb effect. I get it. They use it all the time. It's so annoying. Fish bulb? I don't know what it's called. It's just I call it the bulb. It's super annoying though. You know, with DBZ, because I gr grew up watching as a kid on on uh, you know the American channels or whatever. You, we get to see the filler episodes, and I really like the filler episodes of DBZ when he's on Snake Way. Because, you know, the filler episodes were dumb, like, like where he, I think he goes to, like, some restaurant, eats a lot of food, and those late, there's a bunch of ladies in there, and they turn into monsters or something. And he falls down to hell or something, but, like, it makes the journey of Snake Way seem so insane. But in, if you watch it without filler, the whole Snake Way thing seems insignificant. You know, like, Goku just gets through it. It's supposed to take- how long Snake Way is supposed to take you? Seven years? Vesper, when's the storm stream so you can play my Obito? Silver, what if Bandai Namco makes a fucking DB- uh, a Naruto game, DBZ styles. Three versus three, DBZ engine. And they get the Naruto IP. What would be your team? Your three characters. Oh, there would be a cash grab. I just don't think Bandai Namco can get that IP. <coughs> Cause they're licensed by that <laughs> that other company that does the whack games. Every team, every opponent you fight would have fucking Itachi on it. Thousand percent. It would be like a ton of Itachis and Obitos, probably. It'd be like Uchiha clowns. <coughs> that would be like the Gokus of that game. Your team, Itachi Sasuke. Oh, you did Neji because they did Neji dirty? <laughs> they did Neji dirty. Itachi's the Ralph of Naruto. <laughs>
Itachi is really OP. But he's OP in like a cool way. The, the introduction of Itachi was done so fucking well. I love those episodes. And when he like takes- when he runs into Sasuke and he doesn't even give a shit is also really fucking cool. When he runs into him in that apartment hallway and he beats the shit out of him. Oh my god. Those are such good episodes. It really like... He really like fucked with his brother's head, you know? He like manipulated the shit out of him. Oh, what was that sparkle there? Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about, dude. Like the the whole Itachi arc. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like Shippuden, just like I don't know, man. I just don't. I hated how the arcs ended a lot in that anime. Cast a look. Nice, level 5. The hell? Oh! Cause that's a, the look is stunning you. Interesting. I like how I can jump to dodge some of the attacks. But oh, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna get sent back. Fuck. You can mash the return and stun- uh, which- which attack qual? What do you mean they made all the villains like Gara? Like, are you saying they made them like all insane? Oh, I understand what you mean. Well, some of them that they turned good, I think, was executed okay. Like, um, uh, what was, what's the dude's name with the giant sword at the very beginning? Was it Zawuza? And, uh... What's his name? Yeah, it was Zawuza, right? He, like, kinda turned kinda good? You know? Like, that was okay. But I guess if you keep doing that kind of arc, I guess it would get annoying after all. Oh, that's not a door. Like, that whole part was, like, really important because they're, like, introducing you to the world. Sleepless Seal. Is this my first spell? Or is this, like, something I equip? Okay, let's go check it out. Because it was all about showing you how, like, the, you know, they're, like, they're paid mercenaries, they're, like, tools. It was really kind of showing you how harsh the world is. What did it say? So I can only equip one item at a time? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, so... Uh, can I use this seal as many times as I want? It's a passive. Okay. Well, the thing too is that Zabuza was like, it was Naruto that kind of convinced him, right? He was like trying to like hold in his feelings and shit because he, 
What the fuck's that dude's name with the mask? Aku or some shit? It was a really emotional scene. It was really well done. The whole Gara thing being nice. There was one scene that was really cool. It was when all the those guys came to save them in the in the forest or whatever. They all came and, and saved them at a point. Like that was really sick. That was a cool twist. Okay, what's going on here? That's odd. Oh no. Wow, so much XP from this. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Ga Gara's uh, backstory was executed. I mean, they, they do a good job on, on every character's kind of backstory. You know, there's, there's like a million different archetypes in that anime. So they did a good job on that. You know what I mean? Naruto is literally flashback city, bro. <laughs> like, that anime has flashbacks of characters having flashbacks. It's ridiculous. The exposition is out of control. So they got that on point. <laughs> exactly, dude. And that's not even an exaggeration. That's not even an exaggeration at all. You have done well to get here. <laughs> what kind of laugh is that? <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> if you wish to enter, you must overcome this challenge. Shit. Oh, iframe city. And jump attacks do a lot of deeps. I should block. Oh, fake. Fake goo. Lucky guesses. <clears throat> so it shall be. Okie dokie. The intro to this game is really strange. There's like so much going on, but you don't know anything. Look, it even hints you on what the like the the new map looks like that you're going to, obviously. No oh, more Play-Doh. What is the story so far? Uh, we open. <coughs> we went down a cell that we were not allowed to go to. We found a box. We opened it. A bad thing came out. And everyone in the village got frozen. And the only way to unfreeze them is to complete all these towers. <laughs> that is the story.
So when I when when the people in my town froze, is the game saying that I froze everyone in the world? <clears throat> Africa was resurrected. So there were people in the world that were already frozen. <clears throat> Spoilers? I got trips. Sick. Hope this guardian guy is not the elder. The mysterious figure chuckles slyly. Wait, they should put quotation marks there or something. Oh no, not again. There's a range OST with this real instruments. That's awesome. I love shit like that. Whoa. Okay. A lot of these dungeon rooms have been, uh, Symmetrical so far. No simple map design. Oh shit. Damn, mad deeps. <clears throat> Your courage is at test. At times, you must take bold chances. Uh oh, do I have to jump through a hole or something? Bold chances, you say? Oh, maybe I have to jump down there. Oh shit, did you guys see that? Hit him with a meaty. Crazy active frames on that slide. Yeah, looks like we gotta jump down that hole. Three mad deeps. Oh, maybe I should not use a jar. Oh, they're everywhere. Oops. You know, one thing that made <clears throat> Zelda stand out was their dungeon design. It was really good. Okay, can I get up there somehow? <clears throat> can I get up here somehow? Doesn't look like it. I fell down from here in the first place. Oh, I'm forced to figure something out here. Okay, might have something to do with the jars. Wait, can I crawl underneath this? Somehow? It looks like it's like... 
No, maybe I'm just like looking at it where it looks like I can crawl under it. Do I have to go down these holes, possibly? Oh boy. It's getting more complicated now. Attack is really good. Let me explore this bottom part first. <laughs> Oops. I got a little hasty. Why does it announce that the Guardian appears? Why is this going to get like his own special announcement? Wow. Gonna be very precise on that. Sick. Level six. Good shit. That's awesome. There's a luck stat in this game. Damn one shot. I can grab this now. Okay, so I just if I fall down, that's back to the start of the the map. And then we have this doorway here. Did I come from this way? Oh shit, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. So we want to go to the left. And what's my map say? Check marks. And there seems to be a room that's just two doors. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just two doors. Oh, I see the lingering herd box. I keep looking at these sheets, I'm worried there might be a door hidden behind one of them. Hmm. Do I like KOF 15? a difficult question for me to answer.
Uh, I'm gonna go back to it when DLC comes out. I really like that I can find matches in it, and the matches are mostly good, like, connection-wise, but I just feel like when I play my matches, it just feels too samey, and I don't know, I get bored of it fast for some reason. And the game needs a balance patch right now, because we're seeing the same characters too often. Ooh, a life potion, what's that? Life potion. Increase this life, one time use. So should I use this claw? It's like a heart piece? Okay. Use. Five points, cool. What's this, Zach? I, I haven't even uh, heard about that. It's not like KOF 15 is, or is like broken. It's just that it kind of needs... It's just like we're seeing the same like six characters, you know? Like we need kind of like a... Like an oomph, yeah. There's like the, the Ralph... Ralph and Vanessa are just are just out of control right now. And even though Terry is S, I don't know. I'm not seeing as many Terry's for some reason. But Vanessa and Ralph, holy cow! I know there's a lot of people complain about the matchmaking. I haven't ran that issue, but I, I mean, I believe when people are complaining about it. Yeah, I think the S tiers, like I said, are just four characters are like S tier. It's like Vanessa, Ralph, Terry, and Joe are probably like the only S tier. Everyone else is like high tier. Makes comps for people who are partners that promote their company. They did a giveaway and shamed the partner for having low viewership and rerolled the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, I never heard about this, Zach. Uh, Robert and Keen are top tier, but they're not S tier. Um, I mean, if they, if they, remember, Robert got nerfed, if they change, if he kept his combo, his uppercut loop, then yeah, he'd be S, but, but, um, like, Robert and Keen are, are, are so good, but Vanessa is on another level. She completely bypasses, uh, zoners, like, Robert and King, right? She, like, counters those characters, and she does absolute massive damage and corner carry for half a bar it's ridiculous okay <laughs> hey, what's going on with this room guys it like leads to nothing i gotta look for like uh something to drop down here yeah i know it's a falling dungeon i need to find the hole to fall down wait why am i not running maybe i missed it or something stupid I see the two ropes. Oh, you think maybe I have to fall down, like, here? Oh, shit. You're right. Okay, so... Maybe we can use the map to help us figure out where we're gonna fall. I didn't realize it was literally fall anywhere. I thought it was, uh, only those specific pits.
Angel's triple S. Maybe. I don't know. Another thing about KOF 15 that I think is not healthy for the game is that the best characters in the game are also the easiest characters to use. I don't like that. Like, in MVC2, let's use MVC2 as an example because MVC2 also has a game where it's like only six characters and a gigantic cast of like 56. But in MVC2, man, you can be. There are definitely better Storm and better Sendo and definitely better Magneto players. You know what I mean? You can't just scrub your way. Vanessa, it's like all the same shit. Just random. Upa, 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 upa. Up, uh, up, uh. This is so fucking stupid. You know what I mean? Okay, so we went down this left pit. Let's go down this bottom right one. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. I forgot about that one. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Up, uh. Like, Vanessa's getting a lot of flack, but, like, I hope people don't sleep on Ralph and Terry. Like, Ralph and Terry are insane. Uh, I think Vanessa's just getting a lot of flack because uh, she's the point character, so you see, just it's more easier for people to realize that everyone's using her. Characters are too basic. I mean, I think that's the intention, though. I think that's kind of good design because when you have a game where you have to select three characters, it's kind of good that they're kind of seeing me. <laughs> but at the same time... I don't know, like I said, like I know I'm a, I'm a scrub, but when I play my matches, they just, like, a, once again, it just feels too samey. You know, I feel like I'm playing every match exactly the same. And, uh... I don't know. That's the problem with Strive 2, they make it too simple. Yeah, maybe. I just, yeah, like, I, I just feel like every match I'm just kind of going through the motions. It's like, every match is like, <laughs> I jump CD and crouching short short my way to the last character. And then Terry comes in with the toe tap with four bars and just clutches, you know? I feel like every match just feels like that. All these games are becoming more simpler in a way. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's true. Crystal Threat! Alright, what's this do? I feel like 15 doesn't have a soul, if that makes sense. I mean, I, I feel like 13 would be way more hype. But... Maybe they held back a little too much. I mean, look, the bottom line is, as much as a bunch of us are like, Hey, you know, I'm saying it gets boring. You guys are saying it's too simple. As much as we talk shit about it, they did succeed. You know what I mean? SNK did succeed. KOF 15 is successful. People are playing it still. It didn't die like I said it would. And people are having fun with it and they're getting into it. So in a sense, they succeeded with this. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the competitive uh, life of it, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, there's only, you know, is Evil going to have Vanessa, Ralph, Terry, like top 64? We'll see. We're back, guys. Uh, as someone who's been playing KOF for 500 years since the very beginning, KOF 15 is my favorite KOF. Why do you like KOF 15 so much, Freedom? <coughs> since I haven't played, I've only played 94 and 95. I'd like to know why you like it so much. 
Messer, with the future of fighters becoming more simple and samey, am I- Whoa, what's that complicated word you said? Am- Ambiv- Ambivalent? What does ambivalent mean? Does that mean worried? Why'd you use such a complicated word? Come on, I gotta fall down here somewhere. Oh, there's a magi stone here too. Uh, like if you're asking me if I'm worried about Street Fighter 6, I mean, well, first off, remember, I'm a Street Fighter shill. I can't get worried. No, like, the thing is, dude, is like. The, like, honestly, the truth is, is like, I don't like to worry about things before they happen. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's just a waste. You're entering, like, Pessimism. I don't think that's a good way to like. We're filling in the, in the blanks. You know what I mean. We're just like, oh, you know, things are going downhill. Up, therefore, six, Street Fighter Six has to. You know, it's, it's just not a good way of thinking. I'm just positive about it. It doesn't mean it can't fail, but I'm not. I don't worry about it. And you have to look at the facts. Like I've said this a billion times, but like, look at the facts. Street Fighter Six was delayed. That's already a good sign. It means they're not rushing the game. Uh, they have new leadership. That's another good sign, right? They're taking another eye on it. They have multiple game directors already confirmed for it. We're using a new engine. It's going to be something fresh and new. And uh, if we're looking at like net code and stuff, Capcom is uh, has improved their net code since MVCI, and that was like years ago. And then, man, how have, have I not seen this part before? Shit, don't fall. This is actually kind of cool, this rope thing. What if I don't have this weapon, or do you use, or do you use this weapon for that? Oh, it just brought me back to the same spot. And, uh, what else? I don't know, like, all the signs show us... And, and remember, Capcom has lots of money now. They don't need to break deals. Oh, can't fall down the side? They don't have to break deals with Sony or, or cut any corners. And the game obviously will be rushed, so... I'm just saying that's like, there was a different Capcom, you know? So I, I, I don't I don't see the reason to worry. You know what I'm saying? Let me check that map here before I go through here. I just don't see the reason to worry. It doesn't mean it can still fail, but... Like I said, once again, I just... I see more evidence that it's going in the right direction. <laughs> Why? Isn't... <laughs> Didn't Miyamoto say that shit? Or are you guys memeing? Miyamoto said that. <coughs> I've prepared a most interesting or entertaining show for you. Here is it. The dancing... Oh no. I feel very ambivalent about this. I'm going to assume they hit this guy. Oh, I can hit him off the screen. <laughs> Take that, twenty seven deeps. Hey, it's getting smaller. Getting hit a lot, though. Okay.
Is he gonna like walk off the corner of the screen or something? That's it for today's show. Thank you. Okay. It's fucking weird. Okay, <laughs> that was the dungeon. Okay, Tower 4 was definitely the weirdest tower so far. Okay, so far I haven't missed anything, right? Oh, I forgot to check that thread item. I didn't look at it yet. But there are definitely some ways, guys, that Street Fighter 6 can still fail. Even not even from a technical standpoint. Like, they can fuck up on the roster so easily. Let's say they made all brand new characters and only Chun-Li and Ryu are back. And that's like a huge fuck up they could do easily. Or, and that can happen. Or, uh, the team mechanic, whatever they have, sucks. That can happen too. I don't think Cammy will have pants. I don't think Capcom cares about any of that shit, like... Because, I guess the latest evidence would be, like, with how they handled Lady D. <laughs> I feel like Capcom doesn't care. I mean, yes, we have the eSports thing. But... We'll see. I, I, they can still go work around that and make the eSports costumes for all the characters. And then it's a win-win. They get to sell DLC and still have Cammy without pants. North America was resurrected. <laughs> That's us, guys. <laughs> the guy working on it made Bayonetta, so there's a big push for censorship. So I doubt there's a big push. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Like, when, <laughs> I don't see that guy as, like... Well, I haven't played Bayonetta, so I don't know if he's, like, a terrible pervert or something, but... To me, like, a guy who's worked on the visual effects for DMC and worked on Bayonetta tells me we're gonna have a lot of cool, stylistic stuff, you know? And this Sears Wrath guy will will have some, hopefully, some good cutscenes and shit for the story. What is this? Is this a secret room? There's a door here. Shit. Man, I was drawn by a woman. But from what I understand, like Bayonetta is like satire, isn't isn't she? Depends. It is not yet time for you to come. Return only when you have resurrected the five continents. Oh shit. Satire? I, I mean, I feel like Bayonetta is just a character that's memeing and making fun of over-sexualized characters. So I'm saying if people get salty about it, that's like the entire purpose of the character. I got immobilized. 
Yeah, I guess satire, satire is when you make fun of it. That's right. What if they are making fun of it, though? Wait, I can't go on Tower 5? What? Go back to town? No, oh, boss save me time. <laughs> I still- I'm still laughing about that, the uh, Street Fighter predictions things like Vesper, no, we can't have any characters with guns. Also Vesper, Bayonetta. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Best they did have a point though. Yeah, it was a weak point though. Hey, this guy's back. No, oh, no. They they're talking as if like nothing happened. Can you fetch me that vase there? I can't take my eyes off this just now. This one? Oh shit! Oh fuck. Might as well eat these fucking mm -hmm. apples too. Yeah, fuck. She baits you? So you, you can't give her the vase? Ark, I heard you ruined everything over at the Weavers. And before that, you swiped all the pumpkins at the garden. Yeah, they all said the same fucking thing. Let's talk to the elder. Uh, he says the same shit. Okay, let's find Ellie. Maybe she's in the cellar. So everyone doesn't notice this door is open? She better not be back at home. It's legit save here. We haven't legit saved in a while. Level one. Oh boy. Two hours of unsick. Yeah, we're on the razor's edge there. Speed run. What? I can't jump over the. F oh, what? The chickens are still frozen. No one's gonna mention that. Oh my god. Not the twins. You seen Ellie? I feel strange. I feel as if I awoke from a long sleep to an unfamiliar place. Oh, it's Ellie. Let's see if she's pissed. It's beautiful. Oh, I forgot to check the thread! No! Rewind. Where is it? Is it art? No, it must be an item. Yeah, it is. A brilliantly shiny thread. Okay, so she just wants it. She didn't notice me going into that box. When I have that thread, I want to weave it into this cape. I'm certain it will add power to protect you. Okay. I'll be finished for certain by tomorrow. Oh, she didn't even ask! You must be tired. Go get some sleep at the Elders. 
Man, she didn't even know she was frozen and went down the cellar and everything? Does everyone have amnesia? What's going on here? Even there I was in- Oh! Talking about the huge buildings. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. Something tells me these guys get frozen a lot. Alright, Yogs, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Holy cow! I fell out of my bed. Hey, it's nighttime. Holy cow, who's this? Does he have chicken pox? The floor is hard. Holy shit. Comfy. <laughs> Those are the two guys that are frozen. <laughs> Leave those guys alone, Qual. You're a jerk. Is the elder just chilling here? God. This clown literally only says two things. He doesn't sleep. What, she left the pot cooking during the night? What a dangerous ass house is this? I'll get you back to normal right away. Okay. Oh, let me talk to the other pumpkin. Let me see who he says. What's... Oh, it's locked. And this village is extra creepy at nighttime. <laughs> Talk to this girl. Oh, <laughs> she's not even disturbed. I saw another dream. Oh no. Somewhere I've never seen. It's getting heavy. Did I talk show with the state of play? You thought it was Dino Crisis, didn't you? It is Dino Crisis, okay? It is Dino Crisis. Can I call just a bunch of clowns, dude? Like I said, this is literally the same moment when Capcom said it's not Resident Evil 8, it's Resident Evil Village. Same bullshit. <clears throat> She's been working all night? That's fucking creepy. I beseech you to shield Ark from harm. What does beseech mean? And I pray, please don't take Ark far away. I don't know. <clears throat> Can't sleep? Yeah, why does she have any lights on? No, the foreshadow is crazy. Uh, I don't know. 
What are you saying? Who said I'm going anywhere? The world is huge. Oh no. Guys, I don't think this is a kid's game. <clears throat> Holy fuck. There's a lot of backtracking in this game. I just don't understand why Capcom didn't have the balls to to just call the IP Dino Crisis. I guess they just didn't want to piss people off, but I don't know. I think it pisses people off anyways. That guy has chicken pox. Oh, Hey, at least the game uses the RE engine. <coughs> I get this strange feeling that time stopped. Wait, why are these guys... Qua, why are these guys standing right in front of each other? Shit, does Ellie sleep? It's light and warm. I don't know. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to assume this protects me from the Tower 5. Let's hop in the box. You're equipped. This is the last season, right, Zach? AMC is uh, shaking their boots. That's why they announced a whole new Walking Snooze series. My goodness. There was another short series they made too, but it didn't, didn't do well. Walkinsu's on his last season, and then, like I said, they're starting a new series for the actors that uh, want to stay in. Oh, is that Tower Five right there? Nope, this one's Tower Five. <laughs> My name is Norman. It's <coughs> great.
Is that a secret if I fall down there? Now I'm like paranoid of all these pits. Oh, it just rolls you? The fuck? Zach, like, what game have you been playing lately? Shit. No! Playing Apex. What's triangle strategy? What's that? I don't know. Can't see. <laughs> oh, no, I can. Holy cow. Huge boss. Oh, I'm like... Stuck. Oh shit. Yeah, I lost like almost half my health there. Oh shit. Oh, I got a block. What am I doing? Block. Stupid. Okay, I can't run. I can't get greedy. Fuck. Damn, the opening to hit him is pretty small. I hit the edge of the arms. Like kind of. Okay. Okay, I'm doing like no damage. Oh, got one arm. We gained a level. Level up. And we gained some health from that too. Okay. Now what? I see the stinger. I feel like this entire tower section is just like the game's tutorial. Oh shit, that was close. It's like a gigantic tutorial part in the game. Shit. 
shit, I'm trying to block that. Cause like we literally have a weapon that like generates our health, you know. Uh, when I do my run attack, I run into his body and I took so much damage. I'm just trying to play it safe. Yeah, I'm gonna die because of that. Fuck that. I ain't spacing shit. Fuck your spacing. Fuck. Fucking Quam, man! Shouldn't have listened to your dumb ass. I'm afraid of the stainer. Generating my health slowly. Two deeps. Oh. No! I'm one shot. I have to wait and regenerate my health. Oh, yeah, I got healing bulbs. Oh, you can go into the box during the fight. Where are those healing bulbs? Kinda weird how you use items in this game. That sleep thing's not really doing anything for me, is it? You want to use it? Yes. Oh wow. Now I have confidence. Stinger only does two damage. <laughs> His face is broken. Three deeps. Cheating claw. How much health does this clown have? I wasn't hitting for one damage, I was hitting for two. That's 100% x more damage than you said. thing horizontally? Yeah, maybe I could have. Shadowkeeper down. Ark. You have done well to overcome your challenges. Your real journey begins today. <laughs> what does that mean? Hardest tutorial boss? <laughs> no, I think we got spanked by some other boss from our summer game. Tutorial. <laughs> 70 hours to go. It's all good. Like I said, I, I want to play like a chill game during the slow days, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's all good. Hey, spoilers. I beat the tutorial. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <coughs> this is all one giant tutorial section.
Spoilers, Paul. Spoilers. Yeah, Quintet's just like, when they make their stories, man. I don't know, man. They're hardcore. Did Quintet make evil? I'm surprised they didn't. Dude, that evil game, man. What that scene where it showed the the meteor shower and all those dinosaurs dying? Holy cow! That was one of the most saddest cutscenes I've ever seen in a fucking video game, dude. If I saw that as a kid, I'd be traumatized. Evil. The one where you become a fish and stuff, yeah, here. And then those, those like, yetis died, and it's like, only the strong survive. It's like, it's so crazy, dude. It's... It's, it's too much for a child. copy for a decent price. You guys know about the easter egg in that game where you can turn yourself into an actual human? It's so fucking cool. Remember that cutscene too where it shows that big fish and he gets captured by a bunch of humans he's like so sad he's like uh I'm strong but I'm stupid. Humans are weak? Dude, humans are, like, perfectly designed, bro. And it's not just our intelligence. Everything about humans is, like, perfect. Like, our hands? The fact that we have hands with, like, five fingers is so... keno. Because we're able to use tools, right? So even if you have all these other animals that can be... Like, there's some ravens that are, like, as intelligent as humans. Oh god, we're gonna get into the intelligent animal conversation again. But they can't use tools. Humans can use tools. It's such a big deal. A massive deal. And the way our... It's not our lungs, but the way we can make different sounds. Also, like, everything about humans are just perfect, guys. To be the dominant species. There's so much going. Who is this? Who got resurrected? This is this another city? It's an island? <coughs> you said south of Tower 3? I must have missed it. Or north of Tower 3. <coughs> I did the south of Tower 4 already. Oh, you must be talking about this part. If humans, I'm like I said, humans are OP enough as it is. I mean, humans can fly, just not by ourselves, you know. We can live in harsh climates, and I don't know. Even our eyes are pretty OP. There's animals that have better eyes than us, but our eyes are pretty fucking OP. What? I thought these were supposed to be dungeons. Like, we don't have, like, eagle sight, but, like, what I'm saying is, is, like, 
Um, and we can't see well in the dark either, right? There's definitely some things that our eyes are not as good. And other predators use senses that are way better than eyesight anyways. Like, sharks fucking smelling blood from like, you know, 50,000 miles away or whatever. What I'm saying is like, you know when you like walk outside and you'll see like an animal, like a rabbit or something, and then they stay still, and we can clearly see it. We're like, yeah, that's a rabbit right there. He's standing still. You know, that kind of shit. Like a lot of prey, their like defense mechanism is to stand still and camouflage, right? But humans can easily see that. Our eyesight's good enough that we can distinguish it really easily. Um, okay, how do I find out that call? Here, let me go to a tower just so I can access my menu. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm just trying to go here so I can access the box. How do I, uh... Oh, right here. How do I know? Oh, it doesn't say? Okay, let's go to the store. I watched The Abyss recently, Mormon. That movie is very long. But I did watch it recently. And the director's cut makes it a little longer, but it definitely ends better on the director's cut. It's really long, yeah. But anyways, like I said, my point was is that like... Yes, humans are really intelligent. But... There are so many other things going for us. Besides just our intelligence. So many things. Okay. Um... All right, we go to the magic store. <coughs> I got 11. I did it, Qua. I did it. Okay, so I don't need to buy these rings, correct? Copy. And I did those two extra uh, dungeons and released those two extra parts. No, that's okay. I don't need to buy equipment. Well, I'm probably going to find a different town. <coughs> Copy that. Okay, I guess I'll talk to the elder then. Or should I talk to Ellie first? Okay. They're all useless? Useless? I'm kind of curious to take a peek, but if those Magi Rocks are limited. You have succeeded. You witnessed the resurrection of continents at each of the towers. However, it is only the land that is revived. Life remains unborn. I wish to show you something. We shall go outside. Outside in the east direction, there is a huge hole. Oh my god. I thought I was getting any shit because of this guy. A whole hole, yes. Hey, the chickens are back. And the twins. Whoa, what did she say? Great, aren't you? Just like before. You never came back that time, too. Wait, what? This whole game is like 
crazy. I don't know. Ellie's crying. I didn't do anything to her. Uh, I don't know. Don't come in. I'll kick down the door. I don't know. I don't know. This is not for kids. I like how fast the font moves in this game. <gasps> oh, good thing we checked on Ellie. Hey, I want to talk to that fishing guy again. Guess he's back. I'm like a hero in this town. <laughs> Maybe I got a cold. Everything seems to turn blue. I will talk to everyone. Everyone seems to be saying something different now. No, oh, he says the same thing. What about the guy working on the flower? Far as old life. Wait, what? Damn crystal blue, man. Shit's confusing. Did he catch a fish? Oh yeah, the fortune lady. A ravaged land, the start of a harsh journey. Oh boy. Be good. Let's go to the east part. So east hole. A whole hole. Where? Where's this hole? In the well? Could not be underneath the cabbage. See the hole. I know there's two wells.
The elder, he left and he said to meet him by the hole to the east or some shit. <clears throat> but then I took a detour and I talked to Ellie. Let's see if he's still here. Nope, he left. Maybe he met outside of town? Definitely within town somewhere. We have to find it, it's like hidden. He did say outside. Oh, he did? So you're saying on the world map? Oh, maybe right here? Oh shit. Okay, nice, thanks. Hey, it's a hole. <clears throat> the crevices leads to the surface. It is a strange world. An infinite pool with island continents. It was once a world vibrant with abundant flora and fauna, but all life ended on the surface, leaving only the ravaged land. I wish to see the surface world's resurrection for the people here. Oh, cow. Story is insane. Have you any unfinished, fun finished business? Nope, we did everything, I think. See, I knew the spear were gonna lose it because I'm like, it regenerates your health. That's like tutorial weapon, you know? I knew we were gonna fucking lose this. It doesn't regen. Oh, okay. That's good. Do not be stingy with items in desperate times. Such are the secrets behind longevity. Well, it would be nice if this guy told me, like, what the fuck is going on, bro. Should I buy the hex rock claw or am I good? Being cryptic is part of the charm? Not when it's to the extreme, like Souls games and stuff. I don't like that. Okay. Damn, that was chapter one? Yeah, what is the crystal blue? Weird blue thing that appears on top of the world map? Do we even see it? Where am I? I'm on Mars? What about the bubbles? What were the bubbles? <clears throat> That's why the world map looks so weird? It's too heavy for me, man. The thing influenced your spear. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it 
It's Yomi. Let's give it the program. They had to add some comic relief, guys, because the game was too dark. Well, this should be a good time to stop it. It's like midnight. And we've started chapter 2. So we'll play this again, I guess, on... Ooh. No, resurrect the world! Oh, I'm not gonna resurrect the entire world in one night, okay? It's not gonna happen. So far this game is fun. Like I said, I know that was a tutorial section. We haven't even cast a spell yet. One more level, Vesper, please. What do you mean by one more level? Gain one more level? That's how you get addicted to grinding. One more chapter? That chapter took like four hours. My brother's becoming more zen, yeah. Like, he was like, yo, I'm gonna hit gold rank today. I'm like, you're not ready for gold. And then Willy ran into so many different matchups today. He got destroyed. Okay, where do we leave off in this game? What happened? We... We finished those five towers, and then we went to... We, there was no going back. And then we promised our lady friend we'd be back. Everyone turned to ice. And then we, like, revived the world or something. And this is supposed to be the planet Earth? I can't use my box, I can't use anything. Amazon. And, and we don't have that crazy mode 7 thing on the top and bottom now because we don't have that... Uh, what was that blue thing called again? Guinea? I'm getting like secret amount vibes from this. Oh, I need some key items here. Oh, I found my round button. I forgot the control has been so long since we played last. Whoops. We're in South America right now? Oh, there's something here. Evergreen. Doesn't look green to me. I'm here. Who's this? Uh, oh no, it's the tree. This is Secret of Mana. Oh, it's a shop. Did that hurt me? I guess it did. Yo, what's up, Jaeger? I can't go past this? I don't think I can. What's on this side? Oh, that's just leaving? Weird. Here, one second. Turn my speakers up a bit. Underneath. Clearly a mistranslation. Oh, dungeon time already? Yeah, we're just chilling RPG tonight. I want to get 95 done so we can go ham. I can't use my box or anything? 
They said I can still use my spear, it just doesn't regenerate anymore. Underground cavern. Weird. Oh, now I can use my weapon. That's odd. I can't hurt this enemy. Let's keep traveling. All right, my jumping attack. I can hurt these guys, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so I guess these plant things are just obstacles. some good damage though. Nice. Oh, these gonna hurt these guys too? Oh man. Why would the fish jump out of the water? It's losing its tactical advantage. Okay, at least fall in the water doesn't too much, do too much damage to us. I want to clear out as many enemies as possible because you get a bonus most of the time when you clear it up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Can I use the box now? Whoops. I forgot when you run, you slide in this game. Block. Doesn't look like I can use box? Okay, I can. Okay, let's me see the map. And our items. Everything's equipped, right? I think we equipped armor, too. Yeah, we did. What's up, Micro? Okay. okay. I'm starting to remember the controls now. Like I said, that first whole big part of the game was like a big tutorial area, so I'm going to assume the game gets tougher now. But just since our health doesn't regenerate, that's a big deal. Okay. This is what we wanted to clear the area for. Plants started from one tree and proliferated only graduated. gradually. By saving raw tree, the world should once again become green. Damn. Just this one tree? That's all we need? We know there's a shop at the beginning of the dungeon if we need to uh, buy some heals here. Clears the area. Hold on, let me backtrack for a second because I there is a fork. I want to see what the other way is. Maybe there's a heal or something. <laughs> we'll just call it Terra for sure. Kind of weird not being able to kill those plants. Okay, I'm gonna clear these guys though, just in case this area gives me something. Nice. 
Yeah, the, the run jump dash and the run dash did so much damage. Okay, what's down here? It's a pit. Okay. So it's one dead end. Level up the... Do I get my health back? I get some health back. Okay, what's down here? Okay, now I can push these. But that's obviously blocked. Can I lift this up? So what was the other way? Inhaled poison gas! Okay, so he definitely can't go that way yet. Okay, so the dungeons are already getting a, a little complicated. So the tutorial's over, boys. Can I jump this? One more time. 50 more times. Oh, it doesn't hurt me. Try pushing this anyway, see what happens. You have to come from there and then come to the top. I guess when we wrap around from the left, we'll reach those rocks to finally go in that area where the gas is. Ooh, good deeps. 50? Holy cow. Damn, that one strength just makes us, like, so strong. What have you been playing lately, guys? What game have you guys all been playing? I'm assuming Nightmare's been playing Elden Ring. Oh fuck, I just took 10 damage there. Tales of Arise. Did that come out recently? Is that like the latest Tales game? Okay, some moolah. You can use that money to buy heals. That's cool. Should give me the same. Nice. Sup, Dark Lord? We're just relaxing today. I might boot up. Kill off later. Maybe we'll see near the end. Just cause, uh... Hey, that's where the we cut off from last time. Odd. Maybe I'm supposed to fall down here. I see. Okay. Uh, just because I did my homework last night and... Learned Clark and, uh... And Antonov. So we're able to play now. Sub drawn up? Ever play Gundam Max Boost on? No, I hate Max. You've been playing Elder Ring too? That's cool, man. Oh, see, that's where we have to go up. Okay, so we have to go down now. Hey, how do we get all our life back? What did we do to get all our life back? You hate Titanfall? Yes, I hate Titanfall. I hate Respawn, too. Okay. 
Well, the chat wanted me to use Clark. So we're just gonna use... The moment she made a tier list? Yeah, it's pretty good, but... He didn't have the balls to put in Luke for some reason. But his tier list pretty much looks like Topanga's. Can I jump across? I mean, you can. Am I supposed to be here? Oh, you can pick these up? What? Okay, that's kind of cool. Interesting. Interesting mechanics in this game so far. Yeah, I'll probably like stitch in the Momochi tier list in my video that I'm releasing tomorrow. Stack is just too OP, especially with the iframes. Ouch. Kind of hoping you can kill them by throwing them into each other. Okay, I guess they don't count as normal enemies, so there's no bonus. I was like afraid it would, then I have to backtrack again and kill the other plants. There's some mazy dungeons in Illusions of Gaia, I remember. Okay. Go down here first, clear this out. They go through its mate. Through its mate. down and away to the right. Let's just check right real quick here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back. Did I block myself? Wait, what about this rock? Can I move this? How's it going, Acid? We're chilling today. Mm -hmm. oh, I should make a bridge or something. Follow me. Ow! Oh, can I go this way? Oh, that- okay, so when you clear those areas, it refills your health. Interesting. Mm 
Whoa. This is pretty cool. Immersive. Recovery is taking place. Flippers? I can swim now? Giant leaves. Hey, it's that guy that screwed everyone over. Yomi. It's not needed. <laughs> Holy cow. It's almost exactly like Link to the Past swimming. Okay. Nice. Magic rock. We've gone full circle. Playing Master Chief Collection and Modern Warfare 2 with the boys. FPS is so sad. Yeah, FPS is dead, bro. Okay, there's enough games to play right now. Until a bunch of these comies get their heads out of their asses. Parasite releases a poisonous cloud the moment you enter. Okay, but what does that mean? I can... How does swimming help me? Am I supposed to go back now? Maybe there's something I find in the previous areas? Hopefully I'm not missing anything. FPS needs a few uh, a new game. Well, Doctor Disrespect's company, he's working on some new game. His company. If that game takes off, whatever he's doing, that'd be huge. It's gonna be a BR. That's hype, dude. That's super fucking hype. Dude, if Halo Infinite had a BR, I would have saved that game. Already getting to level again? Holy shit. Level up. Uh, you're talking about that Final Fantasy 1 game? It's already out. I was thinking of playing it. But then I watched like a review on it and I'm like, eh. Does this hurt me? No, it doesn't hurt me. Okay, so I gotta look around at all this shit. PvP Sniper Elite? <laughs> that game is hilarious. Please no BR in Halo. You don't have to worry, bro. There won't be anything in Halo now. The only thing I can save that game now is Forge. these game devs I mean it goes it goes both ways because there's things that game devs know about that really good players or hardcore players just simply do not understand in game design that's a given 
But it definitely goes both ways, and I feel like... You have to have kind of a mix, because, like, you have all these guys that go to school for how many years? Where they get their, you know, their journalist degree, or... Programming, or whatever. And it just seems like the people making these games are just so disconnected with, like, people that play games. It, it, I know it's like a, a meme, but it, it really feels like these guys don't play their own game. A lot of these companies, it's fucking weird. Okay, did I come from here? Oh, I think this is way back in that other area, isn't it? I don't remember which one I came from. We'll find out in a second here. No, I wasn't here before. Or was I? No, I don't think so. I think this is the one I skipped. This is where I'm supposed to go now. Well, I know there's a lot of reasons for, like, Halo Infinite dying, but, you know, I hate to say it, but a lot of the top streamers called that shit, dude. When they didn't have a BR, that hurt them so bad. That's the only reason why Respawn didn't die, too. Like, Respawn had the exact same problem 343 did, but at least Apex was a BR. You'll be shielded from vile poison. Okay, here we go. A dew drop. Do I have to keep this equipped? Uh, oh yeah, keep trying to select, dude. Yeah, the OST in this game is really good. There's a lot of good tracks in this already. Definitely need to grab that OST. The Sleepless Seal. Yeah, we haven't used that yet. Equip. You're equipped. Okay. Uh, oops. Let's press select. Anything hidden over here? Whoa. Leaf suit. Where did I find that? It was from that thing? You can search those? Oh, no. Oh, it tells me to. Okay. Okay. So it's not all of them. I was about to say no, please. Not backtracking. Dude, my OCD, like, alarm was just going off. Okay, let's check out this suit. How do I check the stats? Uh, oh, it says two. Two, three. Oh, down three. Up two. Okay. Easy to understand. Got it. Evergreen. I see. Oh shit, that magic rock was really well hidden. Damn, dude, use your legs to climb. I mean, holy cow, the upper body strength is unreal. Yeah, he's he is Jack, dude. So we actually jumped to this area. I guess we're not where we were supposed to, but that's okay. Not like there's a secret here or anything you can get early. So far, this dungeon's pretty well designed. Everything's connecting to each other. It flows well. You know, you're not exactly feeling like you're backtracking too much. 
So now, obviously, we have to go to, uh... <clears throat> where that poison was. Did I do a slide into this dash attack? Oh my god, you can. What? That's super OP. I guess they'll be really good against bosses. Oh, there is items in these things! No! Oh no, it's OCD time! No, there's items everywhere. Oh no. I'm gonna lose my mind right now. Shit. Okay, now I gotta literally, like, every time I go to a dungeon, I check for everything. Life potion. Increases life. Restores life? This increases life. It's just a straight-up use? Does it, has anyone played this game before? Do I just use the life potion like a heart piece? Wow, I would have missed that item. Permanently increasing life? Okay, we're backtracking. Oh, I'm fucking back. Dude. I have to. Paul's gonna complain because this counts as grinding. Ah, uh, shit. Did we come from this way? I wonder if there's any other areas we could have went to before this dungeon. Oh my god. I swear I went up to these. Ugh. I don't think I need to even move this boulder, I could just swim now. How do I get to this one? Tricky. Oh, I jumped to it. <gasps> Spear! Oh my god, guys, look at all these items we missed, man. What the fuck? It goes up by three. Did someone say Metroid? At least the weapon changes color. Oh, you're talking about like, oh, like, Doom, Quake, like Wolfen style, uh, secrets. It's funny. Hey man, there's some clever shit though in Doom and stuff for secrets. Did you guys hear that, uh... Uh, what's his name is making a new Doom level? So I can't be poisoned? Let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah, Romero, yeah. I think that's, that's sweet. I wonder if it's a bullshit level. You make some pretty sadistic levels, man. I'm going to assume, like, once we finish this area, this whole place will turn green anyways, so... 
Anything else we learn from Ashaw? No, just heals. Okay. <laughs> What's this, John? I'm understanding the game's mechanics. What do you mean, Jaeger? What do you mean, go south? In the world map? Oh. I... So there's nowhere else to go except for that area? Because I was just kind of, you know, going... in order or whatever. Unless it's like, you know what I mean? I'm just being thorough, so I went to here first. Yeah, we might as well grab it now if there's a dead end. I didn't realize there was a dead end up coming up. Holy cow, this is like Chrono Trigger. Oh yeah, we haven't bought any magic yet. Holy cow. The minimum quality is 9? Okay, thanks. Okay. okay. We're at the start of the dungeon. We'll go down this way first. The pit. Okay, we're just looking for those things. Oh, damn, this is where the poison is where I'm supposed to go. Wait, what? I don't have the thing equipped? Or no, I don't. I have the water thing. Okay, whatever. I wasn't. I didn't want to go there anyways. <laughs> Dude, I would have missed a weapon and all those heals and that permanent health thing. Oh yeah, Jaeger. Now that you're here, um, can I use this life potion? Like, is there any reason to keep in my inventory, or should I just use it immediately? Because it just says raises increases health. Increase five health. Yeah, but what I'm asking is, do I need to keep it for anything, or should I just use it immediately? Okay, thanks. This might be the best action RPG for the Super Center. Is it better than Zelda, John? Better than Zelda? Is Zelda an action RPG? I guess you can argue it's an action adventure. But I've seen it being called an action RPG many times. I mean, a role-playing game doesn't necessarily mean it has to have XP and levels.
Oh, I can hit him before he even opens up. It's crazy. Dude, we're so strong. Because of all the backtracking and shit. led to the gas thingy. I don't know, you guys are arguing over what's an action RPG? Oh boy. Check the Wikipedia, what does it say Zelda is? What kind of genre does the Wikipedia say? This is when we realize the dark secret. High fantasy action adventure video game. What the fuck does high fantasy mean? Higher than medium fantasy? What does medium fantasy mean? And before you say higher than low fantasy, what does low fantasy mean? Well, why is it called high fantasy? I still don't understand. I've never heard that in my life. We're so over leveled now. There's a million games for 95 alone. Oh, yeah, dude. I said, check our 94 list. We actually did all those games. Look at our 94 list. It's even bigger than 95. 94 is like one of the most devastating years. I've never heard that term before, Jaeger. The more you know. The more you know, bro. Okay, we've gone full circle here. Hey, Jaeger, can you do me a favor if you can? If there's a guy that just has, like, the dungeon item summary, maybe that would save me time. 42 gems. Hey, we found something we missed. This should be the dungeon entrance. I'm sure the game FAQs will summarize all the items in the area. Nice. Whole bunch of stuff here. I can't believe Luke is being used more than Akuma right now. I can. Looks fucking cool. I got an item map? Yeah, I'm just looking for anything that's like... I don't care about the heals, like the bulbs. I just care about like, you know, spear. Armor. Shit like that. 
we're doing a pretty good job, like, scouring the area. I'm just making sure, because my OCD is just going nuts. Did you skim the map for a sec, Jaeger? If not, I can I can take a look at it too. Basically, we want to we want to make sure we cleared all all the areas for items before we get to the poison gas room, pretty much. Okay, that clears out this now. I think we've covered it all. There's one more area I need to check. Yeah, ignoring bulbs. Alright, this will bring me back to the same spot. This should bring me back to the start of the dungeon. Yep. Okay, I'm getting my bearings here. Okay, if we were just here. Let's go back. I grabbed one Magi Rock that was behind a waterfall before you climb up. through his mate. Did I get the last leaf suit? Yes. I'm ha I have it equipped, I believe. Right here. Leaf suit. And I have the spear. So I'm good? Okay. Alright, good. My OCD is suppressed. This is the last area, so I might as well check it. Okay, we good. Mm -hmm. 
Rainbow City check the morning has vanquished the horrible night. Yes, it has. Greatly. Sick. It's been getting so cold down in the basement right now, guys, because, like, uh... Basically, it's getting warmer outside, right? It was, like, plus four or five today. And because of that, the furnace doesn't kick in because upstairs is warm. But since it doesn't kick in down here in the basement, it is freezing. And I told you guys how my heat fan broke because I, I think got pushed to its absolute limits. Um, so I got my brother's heat fan right now. It really doesn't need any more because it's warm upstairs. Got a lot of moolah now, too. French-speaking region of Canada. <laughs> There's literally only one. When you guys say Magnifique and Bravo, it makes me think of Rayman. By the way, guys, I nuked it. I was... I had it ready to go. That was the next episode to be released on the Let's Play. I took it, and I'm like, I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck this game. I don't even want to remember it. So I erased it from existence. It's gone forever. Once that archive... Once the two months are up on the Twitch archive, it's gone forever. Absolute cheeks. Yeah. Craziest part, we only played that game for two days, but it felt like we played it for a week, you know? And, uh, what's it called, um... Gex, we didn't even give it a sh we didn't even, like... We left no chance, you know what I mean? As soon as we sensed danger, we bounced. As soon as we sensed danger. Mm -hmm. What's up, Jay? No, I have not played Alundra. What year is that? I'm pretty sure that's not for a bit. Unless it's an RPG. Damn, huge crits. Yeah, I think it's the poison room. Alundra's later, yeah. Ninety-seven. Yeah, we're close. But isn't where I came from, right? I came from south. Should have amnesia. Which year am I looking forward to the most? 
Uh, every year has some game that I really want to play, for sure. But like I said, as I told the chat before, um, now that Street Fighter 6 is announced and I now know my a pretty good idea of like my time limit, we're gonna break the rules after I'm finished 95. So we're really close here. And then, you know, like I said, doesn't mean we'll never play retro again when Street Fighter 6 comes out, but we'll be going hard for a while. For sure. Ooh. <laughs> it's just nice playing a game like this right now, because, like, like I said, <laughs> no jokes, guys. I mean, besides labbing and learning the characters and like KOF, the new characters you guys want me to learn, I have literally not had any time for myself like to play any games. I haven't played a single game since Street Fighter 6 got announced. Off stream. Became immune to the parasite poison gas. Wow, look, I'm lit. Let's grab a heal. I thought the next room was the poison room. Twenty life points. Don't work yourself too hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm super busy, but like, uh, when you work on some, like, when your job is something you love doing, it doesn't feel like work. So I won't be stressed out. Shit, I went the wrong way. Oh damn it, dude! Oh no, I, don't, I forgot where it was. Jaeger, the map. Wait, I have a map too. Actually, this doesn't help me at all, does it? I ironically enjoy KOF 15. I like finding matches. I like learning new characters. I don't like that like that the game is Mortal Kombat. Yeah, hold on, yeah, I'll, I'll check the map so you can see where my location is. We've been in here for so long, our character is so powerful. Okay, we're on B3F. In the middle. Yeah, B3F in the middle. Masochism? Okay, go back to where I came from. Yeah, I, I swear it was this way. That's why I popped the thingy. Must have took the wrong door from there. I hey, know. I know, I'm too leveled up. Open the map here, this doesn't make sense. Okay, so maybe I was going the wrong way. Now I'm in uh, B4F. The guy had the numbers wrong. Oh shit, so I was wrong? Damn it. Okay. Okay, 
That's funny. I'm surprised in this game it feels like the amount of XP these enemies give me is still really good. At level 10 or whatever, I'd suspect they barely give me anything. Okay, there was no door on the top left here, right? Oh wait, what? What? Did I miss a door? Oh. Yeah, I know. No, it even says on my map, too. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I understand. No matter where you are in this area, the blinking icon is in the middle. So, this door is here. You understand? Like, I'm right here right now. <laughs> or I'm like right here, I mean. Yeah, the face really throws you off. It makes it look like there's a path to my left that leads up to another door. But... Hey, go to the door in the middle. Okay, holy cow. Hey, we're learning the mechanics, guys. This is... <laughs> we're learning the mechanics of the game. Holy shit. Nice map. Oh, the dude, it's better than the Dino Crisis map. The Dino Crisis map is worse because it doesn't tell you what direction you're facing. That drives me crazy. And don't even say that compass bullshit. Okay. Oh, it's a boss? Oh shit. Centipede. Oh no. Can I hit that thing? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ouch. 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 I can't hit this guy. Yeah, I am having fun with this game. And I have a, a an army helping me helping me out when I get lost and when I miss items. I have nothing equipped right now, hey. As we equip this sleepless seal. Okay. I'm just I'm assuming the head is the hitbox. It has to be. But it's not? Do I have to hit this little thing constantly? No, it doesn't have a hitbox. What the hell? Yeah, I'll just hit these orange things. Man, he had a lot of health considering how super leveled I am. I had to wait. 
Oh, two deeps. Nice. Yay. Is the Catcom Fighting Collection worth it? I mean, that's up to you. Like, look at the games that's in it. Look at the games that have online access. There's a website for the Catcom Fighting Collection that will literally tell you which games have online and which games there is, and then, you know, make your own judgment if you want, you're interested in them. Regain their forms. Green will soon carpet the world. The entire world? But remember this. I don't think all 10 games have online bunk. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it isn't. You must lead the growth of living things. You're literally reviving the world, guys. Wait, where did the rain come from? I need to show harder for for them for Capcom. <laughs> yeah, I played Secret of Mana many times. It's pretty pretty much my favorite game. And the remaster they did for Secret of Mana was trash. It was horrible. <gasps> the seasons, guys. Wait, aren't dandelions bad? Isn't it just essentially a weed? Wait, I don't think dandelions are good. <laughs> Guys, was this game ahead of its time? How's a six-year-old kid supposed to understand this? Holy cow. Look, even the, the bark on the tree has been repaired. Who's that? What the hell is this thing? Did I just eat him? What the hell? What the fuck? I'm just good for you, come. I am the origin of all plants. Damn, the very first tree? Roam the world, hear the voices. Okay. Oh, healing. Damn. Guys, imagine my OCD alarm. If I miss an item in that dungeon and I can't go back now, I would have to restart my file. That's just unacceptable. Okay, so use it earlier than later is what you're saying? Wait, where is this item? How do I use it though? Oh, I understand. I 
already speak to the damn tree. Don't tell me what to do. So why did I eat that poor guy on that plant? used to talk to a lot of plants and stuff in uh, Soul Blazer. Did he die? What the fuck? Oh, he's back. Wait, what? Photosynthesis smell function? Oh, fuck. Oh, I can actually understand him now. Wait, he sells a spear? Where did he get the spear from? Oh, look! Oh, shit. Look, guys. The two items from the dungeon? If you miss it, you can buy it. This is to calm your OCD. This raw armor, though, guys. What do you think? I'm grabbing the armor. It's 380. We did a lot of grinding. I mean, why not? So you can't sell items in this game? Why does it go on top of these mannequin things and the other one doesn't? Here. Oh my god, carnivorous plant. <gasps> wow, the world's so green, spoilers. More plants to talk to. Turn to not. What? You're living in the past. Can I sw oh, sh cheeks. Money is eternal, Jaeger. Damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to look for secrets. Dan, can you just tell me something useful? They're like repeating the same things as the other plants. Are we gonna eat Kirby again? Yep. That's really messed up. Air plants. Circle of life. Oh no, not that uh, evil game. That game was feels bad. What the hell is that? Hello, cute stuff. You're the one who saved us. I want to sing you a song. Uh oh. DMCA. I don't get your joke, Jaeger. Oh, I can move. She's a fabulous singer. They both say the same thing. Okay. 
I believe I have thoroughly examined the area, and I shall take my leave. Where'd you get the fan? The power of money. Can I go down here now? I can't cross the water? I thought I can swim. This is the cave where I came from. What was if I go back? Right, the entire earth was like red. Just a lonely save. You can't swim on the Amazon River? Says who? No hidden area here? Oh, it's different now. Wow. And there's a plan here. You will no longer be alone. We will always watch over you. When more living things are revived, they will come to your help. Alright, we have to help the birds. Man, this game is getting intense. Go north. You love pixel art? Yeah, pixel art, like I said, it could be the year 3000. Someone one day will play this game and be like, wow, this game looks good. It'll never age, it'll always be timeless. It'll always be timeless. And then they'll play Final Fantasy VII and see clouds pop by arms and be like, oh my god. <laughs> Magnifique? What is Rayman? Wait, is this the area you told me to go to, Jaeger? Holy cow. Trip, trip, trip. Medium bulbs. Yeah. Oh. Just these two items, that's it? Yeah, I found it by myself. That's right, Jaeger. I'm not completely hopeless. Okay, I see a trail up here on this mountain. What else we have here? Looks like we have these like two areas. Okay, let's check here first. Okay, let's not check here. Let's check the other way. Oh my god. I get it. There's birds, alright? you got for me just bulbs what you hey it's a magic shop fire pyro a grass pin didn't we get that oops wait what On the top of Tying Cows, let's talk to your Capcom connection so they release St Street Fighter Hyper Alpha with rollback, please. Dude, screw Alpha. I was hoping they would have Street Fighter EX. And Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2. That would be amazing. CVS 1 and 2? Holy. They would be called. You know what they call it? The Capcom God Collection. Like 
that. Oh no, we gained a level, guys. Not good. Okay, remember, guys. We must be thorough and look at any object that is peculiar. Because it could be a chest. What game are we playing? A game called Terra. <laughs> it is supposed to be the greatest action RPG for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's also a high fantasy setting. That means elves. What? That's cheap. Can we climb up there? What the hell is this thing? Oh no, mud monsters? No, oh, anything but mud monsters. Oh my god. No, they multiply? No! Oh, I don't think I can hurt them. Check in this doorway first. Only one kind of attack can hurt them? Strength potion. Let me guess. Apparently raise the strength. Raises strength. So, yeah, guys, should just use this. I shall use. Jump, slide, attack the mud monsters. I shall jump and slide. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Clear out the area of all the enemies. Make sure. Oh, I didn't go that interesting. Oh, that's where I came from. chest. There better not be some stupid wall I can run through. Eat that shit. Okay, so far these areas are really open but empty. Caused a tremor. Ark is immobilized. Oh, no. Oh. Since I'm so powerful, I just one-shot everything. EX2+, plus, Alpha 3, and Hyper Alpha in the same collection. What about EX3? <laughs> This part has no map? I don't know. Let's see. Four F. Okay, what? There was a doorway and then a, a lower path? Yeah. 
Yeah, this game's got some funky maps, Jaeger. Yeah, okay, a dead end. I mean, I think we're gonna get an item that makes me lift these rocks. Oh, what about here? Damn it. That other path is probably where the chest is. Fudge. Let's go here first. See what it's it, it over here. Otherwise, we'll backtrack. Damn it. The path keeps going. Damn it. Okay, let's backtrack. Fudge. X3 is too weird. <laughs> broken, dude. That custom combo thing is broken. But it's got some cool characters. And some hilarious supers, dude. Some of the funniest supers are in that game. <laughs> but at least that chest. <laughs> Is there anything here? Oh. Oh man, so we gotta get some climbing tool too. Oh wow. Sarah doesn't close up to beat him, by the way. Yeah, I figured it'd be like Zelda where you have to backtrack to some areas. And does it have to tell me that every time? I don't know. Puzzle. Quick math. Wait, one of these might be an enemy. It's... They're probably both enemies. Spear. Good thing we backtracked. Good thing we backtracked. Damn, it's the only weapons my character uses as spears? Oh. It wants to tell me it can break rocks? Rock Spear. I shall equip. Oh my god, it really does say it every time. Jesus. It would be cool if they remade this game in the RE engine. Still gonna do the dive on this guy? It's not like I drop and I try to jump. Put up the speed. Anything would be cool on the RE engine? I agree, bro. Oh, I can't destroy these guys. Interesting. Oof, true. I played that with Miro, it was fun. 
We overthought a lot of the puzzles. So far, this dungeon seems easier than the tree. Oh, okay, this is where you get stuck. Let's see. We must revive the birds. What the hell are these things? These turtles? Well, they got a lot of health. What the hell are these things? What the hell? Just flying sidekicked me. No, you fall? Oh, what the hell? Oh no, remember when I said this dungeon was easier? Okay, good, it works me back here. Okay, perfect. What? I held right! That's below me. Hell weapon RE engine. That'd be cool. Well, I saw in Max's video he was saying that the DLC characters looked way better, more refined, because they had more time to work on them. Oh, jump attack does hurt. Though. I don't have to die. I fall down here? Is 
the time. Oh, it's cheap. Super cheap. We haven't got that, like, clear the room bonus yet. I'd like to get it so I can character can heal without using items here. Nice. Oops. It'd be like right on its side. If only KO13 had been so insanely exp uh, expensive, wish SNK would have stuck the sprites. I don't, like, I don't know. It's like, it's weird because they could have stuck the sprites because they're already drawn and animated, right? Literally, the only thing holding KO13 back was the net. That's all they had. That's all they needed. Was just the net cook. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous when you think about it. Like, all that work on that game, just for... Like, Halo 13 was like, guys, I haven't seen KO up that popular in forever. Uh, at least in North America. Like, it was evil, it was one of the hypest games to watch. A lot of people want to get into it, but it was fucking unplayable online. Like, it's a complete travesty. Like, it was a travesty, dude. Yeah, and then, uh, what, what went wrong with KLF 14, guys? Man, it's been so long since I played that game, I don't even fucking remember it. I, I know I played that, 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 uh, that girl with the Rekkas. I think her name was Mui Mui or some shit. Bad netcode and looked like garbage. <laughs> That's where the budget went down. Oh, I fell down? No. I have the sands. What's this? Something flashed. Oh, then it's a nest. Oh, sharp claws. That's how we climb the walls. Oh, wow. We're getting so many items now. Whoa. Anything down here? Now that I can climb? I should the start. Okay, we better heal. The game is not giving us anything. Ebony for that, holy cow. Speaking of netcode, I'm excited to watch Harada pass aggressively talk about rollback. I mean, I've heard the meme silver, but I've never actually like read any of Harada's quotes. Like, what does he say? Like, could you give me some examples? Because I always hear people talking about it. Then he says crazy shit. Like, I don't understand, like, Hirata must feel pretty stupid now, because there's all these fighting games thriving because of netcode. Guilty Gear, always had shit netcode. Guilty Gear is thriving. KOF, always had shit netcode. Now KOF is thriving. You know what I mean? Now, this Persona game is coming out with rollback. I don't know if that Melted Blood game, but it's like, fuck, dude. Open your eyes. It's not some kind of, like, fad. There's people literally fucking playing each other all over the world now. There's a spot we can climb up here on this side, right? Well, I can just go from the entrance. Uh, 
Ed Boon's persona? I don't think Ed Boon... Ed Boon is not, like... I don't, I've never seen any tweet or anything like that from Ed Boon that he's feeling himself. He, Ed Boon seems like a pretty chilled guy. Like I said, Ed seems like he's he's down for anything. He's just like, yeah, more cover street fire, fuck yeah, let's do it. He's just like I don't know. And in terms of like game developers, Ed Boon is really chill. He like he congratulates everybody. He never fucking uh seems to be opinionated on everything. You know what I mean? He's not like you never see him tweet out stuff like Oh, I believe, you know, Mortal Kombat's animations are like some of the best, or blah blah blah. Like, he's always just chill. You know what I'm saying? But Harada, this guy, he like, you can tell he's got like an ego. Like, he. You can tell he doesn't like being told to get this role back and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need to backtrack even more. I, I remember seeing a wall, a wall we need to climb. Oh yeah, the Molina fans, that's true. I mean, I think Edge is kind of going through like a phase right now, dude. Because he said, I'm pretty sure he was talking about how like... Uh, how they designed like the female characters in the past and he said he felt embarrassed. Um... I think Mortal Kombat 9 especially was pretty ridiculous. Mortal Kombat 9 was pretty hilarious. Wait, where'd that guy go? Did I, did I kill him? Dude, there's no way they're gonna have delay base in Tekken 8. They'd be, have to be crazy. That have they'd have to be crazy, dude. They would be the last ones. Like who who else doesn't use rollback? Everyone uses rollback now. I mean, like, maybe not Virtual Fighter or some shit, but. Let's check our other option settings now that we have more familiar with the game. There's a bunch of items, settings we can tweak in this game. Settings. Change. Button settings can be changed. No, we don't need to do that. Cursor, keep it on memory. Yeah. Stereo. Red, green, blue is better. Go to my pad. X speed. One is the fastest speed. Yep. Gauge. Choose battle indicators, 1, 4. Okay, this one we're gonna have to experiment with. Okay, let's keep it on. Let's see what B changes. What do I see? The money is on the top right now, rather than the bottom right. Yeah, okay. I actually like B better already. Let's check C. Everything becomes on the bottom. That's pretty good, too. Yo, what's up, Jaeger? No, we just got claws to climb the walls. And... Looks like we have to go back to the dungeon again. Uh, wait, what's the difference? Oh, the item's on the very top, right? Ooh. I like all of these. I like B and C. Everything on the top and everything on the bottom. Oh, 
or red star down. Don't worry, I said I have enough. Like I said, I've been preparing for the Street Fighter 6 reveal for a long time. I literally have enough videos to last me until February. Easily. Falling down stuff drives me crazy. It's like it's hard to keep track of everything you've discovered. Wait, I can't fall down here? What the hell? That was weird. Nothing even here. I just saw a new state of play is coming soon and it's for Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter's still really popular, I think. Why? Wow, what's the big deal? <laughs> They're not- dude, all the crazy good games aren't gonna be announced until the fucking summer, bro. Oh shit, boss? Is that a giant bird? Did I just two shot? Oh no. Oh god, we're too overpowered, guys. We two shot the boss. Dark twins? Wait, there's two of them? Oh no. At least we revived the birds. Fuck. Dude, I screwed up because I got OCD in the first dungeon. Whoa! Is this really the Super Nintendo? Wait. The bird came out of the egg and was already fully grown? With feathers? The birds have returned, guys. Pokemon logic? I love in the Pokemon anime, they had no idea what to do for the Pokemon sounds. Because there were so many of them, they're like, fuck, we can't give all these guys their own sounds. So the solution was to give make every Pokemon say their only their own name. It was genius.
This signal? What signal? Hey, can I talk to this guy? We are honored by your presence. The signal from Windvale to fly hasn't come yet. Wait, I can't talk to this guy? Ah, where the hell am I? Oh, it's back here? It's weird. All we did is bring water back. By the way, Yager, if you're there, I'm about to ask you in that, that cave dungeon, did I miss anything? Birds sense the seasons by by the wind and migrate to new lands. There's been no wind at all. There's no map of the dungeon? Cheeks. Alright. There's two things I know to check. The two falling tunnels, basically. This area is cancer, guys. Can't talk to this guy. Look at this big owl guy, how do I talk to him? What? I can't talk to him? Oh, the kingbird's nest. Oh boy. What the hell? Bro, how about I sing you- uh, <laughs> Okay, sure. You understand art. Wait, it's just the song Faster. Got left behind, dude. Wait, what? I thought you said the Kingbirds to the north. Oh, I guess maybe something opened up in the mountain pass above. Cheeks. Okay, hold on a second. We gotta return to the dungeon real quick and make sure I didn't miss anything. There's a part where, uh... can claw up the side. There is nothing, man. No! Yeah, prove it. You got a map? How do you know there's nothing? You're gonna become... Dude, I already am too strong. I'm already two-shotting bosses. That ship has sailed. Dude, I don't think you guys understand. I love the grind. I love it. Okay, I think the top one... Check the top one again. Oh, right here. Oh, I remember we fell off at one point.
Yo, what's up, Tread? an item that stops us from being stunned badly. There should be a split fork here. Alright, this is where we jumped on twice. Okay, let me check this area so to make sure there's no area to climb on the side. So that's, this is where we got our rock spear when we went this way. I believe. this lead to Ow. oh it's a shortcut back here So that means the only things that I probably missed were those ones, those tunnels where I fall down or whatever. Did you go in the secret room in the bottom right at the start? I don't know. No idea. Secret room in the bottom right at the start. Okay, I'll try to remember that. <laughs> Item we missed! <laughs> See? We would have never have got that medium ball if I didn't go back. Should be where the spear is. Got the bulb. Okay. So, like I said, that means the only two areas that I'm not 100% certain on are those two parts where you're falling down. We can use the power of sands though, find it. And then Freedom's saying there's this hidden room at the very beginning. With the dungeon. momentum.
Wait, what are you guys talking about? Here's the part I didn't fully check yet. This part right here. We can use the power of sands though. So I can't move right no matter what? Oh, at least the same spot anyways. Okay. So no matter what, even if I went to the right path, yeah, it junctions here anyways. Okay. So we go left. And then what? It forks this way and it just leads to the same thing. Okay, so we didn't miss anything here. Okay, so we just need to go to the last one now. And then we're done. Well, here it is. Oh, was that it? It's over here. Weeb anime chat? It's a pipeline of never-ending money. <laughs> you guys are talking about Naruto stuff? Dude, Naruto's crazy. What's up here? Oh yeah, that's where we got our claw. Yeah, there's nothing here. That's where we came across from the other side of the cave. Almost done the dungeon. Again. Almost. Damn it. What? That's cheap. Uh oh. The game is warning me I'm lit. Hey, at least it's not an annoying sound. Yeah, kids these days are watching Naruto. Like my, like I said, my uh, nephew's watching it now for the first time. I don't think we have to go this way. Pretty sure we don't. Yeah, I just need to find that, that second falling part. Because you would naturally backtrack here. Go up here.
Wait, what was the point of going up here? Just for that chest? Oh, here's the pit. Right, I fell to the right. There's, okay, that leads to the same spot. This doesn't. Yeah, I haven't. This is the last part I haven't checked in this area here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Okay, we can leave now. Back at the entrance. Okay. <gasps> oh, we never got this life potion. See, good thing we came back. That's the secret room you were talking about, Freedom. Clear these guys out since I know I haven't been here. Let me check the other way before I fall down that part. So like I said, this is the one part I didn't go to. been here before. Okay. Yeah, we're good now. So, Freedom, was that... That that chest I got was the secret room you were talking about, right? Okay. Thank you. And we are done. Yay, we're free! <laughs> okay, they said go north, right? Let's check up here. See no new entrance. Okay, it looks blocked. I'm sure there's nothing here. This area is so sus. <laughs> Maybe we go back to the plants since the birds are free. But they said they have no wind. Back to the birds. Go north, so I'm trying to awaken there. Okay, so the game is like making sure I know.
Hey, where is the king bird? I'm supposed to talk to. Climb up, he says. Oh, what the hell? That's crazy. That would have took me forever to figure out. Holy shit, that would have took me forever, dude. I would have been stuck here for the rest of my life if you didn't tell me that. I would have never literally have figured that out. That was a soft lock? That was a soft lock, dude. A six-year-old kid would have never made it past that part. You were stuck there, Freedom? Like, they say go north, but I mean, Jesus. There's nothing on the wall to show you can climb it. That's crazy. That's a, That was a rough one. Puzzle fraud? I don't even think that was supposed to be a puzzle, dude. I think that's bad game design. Yeah, exactly. The game teaches you that those kind of walls are the ones you can climb, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> yeah, is that the king bird? One chime equals one hour, exactly. I'm going to assume they all say the same thing. Sick. Let's put three NPCs that say the same thing. He's a shop. Bulbs. <laughs> Bird suit. Yes, please. <gasps> 550 though. We can afford it. Yep. Shit. Dude. Power creep incoming. I wish you can sell items though for even more moolah. He is a tad heavy. Pyro ring, grass pin. Oh, we haven't used the grass pin yet. I gotta remember to use that shit. Mm -hmm. <gasps> wow, he really is King Bird. I am the king of King Birds. I don't think he can fly it, though. I wish I could say that, but it isn't true. There's a cavern called Windvale. Uh-oh. We have to revive the wind. Oh, no. The wind has not blown. You should ask a gull down below. Everything has to be cryptic in this game. Yes. I'll take you, it's just a quick flight. Yes.
Whoa! Holy cow. Wow, I'm like in a little bag. Hey, draw me at that cave. There's that secret cave, bro. Wait, where are you going? Why are you going in a circle? Great L. Wait, wasn't that the same cave you passed like six times? In the spring, a refreshing wind flows out from here. We will leave to fly all over the world. Okay. Oh, I heard the rock hit the ground. Wait, what? Oh no, another puzzle. Isn't that where I'm supposed to jump? I see the star. Well, it's not hurting me, so... Oh wait, remember that thump was me running into the wall. Okay, hopefully there's not a wall that I have to jump up and climb. Yeah, no hints from the bird. What's that? Oh, I guess we fall from there, too? What was the first puzzle of the game? Uh... Well, there was this one part where we had to jump through a cracked window, but I found it right away. I think this is a star thing. What? What kind of puzzle was that? That was two in a row, guys. Two, two in a row where a six-year-old would get stuck for the rest of their life. Soft locked. The long, harsh winter is over. Okay, so whoever I hit in the head didn't know it was spring? Oh my god. What a game. They should have made it so that when you threw one rock at the star, it made a sound. You know? I woke Fujin up from Mortal Kombat? Wow, Ark. I can tell right away the wind is back. It doesn't even show us the wind? rock block in this path. What's the point of that?
<clears throat> the migrators can take off the new lands. As a show of appreciation, appreciation, please accept this. A wind pin. Yay. A lot of pins. Oh, okay, so the gulls will take me somewhere else. What did the other one say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just lying everywhere. Staying alone. What do the kingbirds say? <laughs> they stole our eggs. New continent with the wind. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess we're going there. Oh, it is a small little island. Stopover. And Sanctuary. Oh, no. Okay, so we can go back anytime. Is there a bottom path here? Nope. Wait, there's nothing here? Wait, what? Guess we came here too early. What the fuck? Another puzzle? Holy shit. We're getting ass blasted by puzzles. Sure thing. Yeah, I got trolled. What's that sound? Is that normal? What the hell was that? Is that the emulator? Okay, that was very odd. Kind of like a Genesis game for a second there. Does this one fly me somewhere else? Oh, they all take them to different spots. I see. It pains me I can't serve you. Oh, here's Windvale, okay. Okay, so we go to the first one then. The Paradise of Animals. I like how the birds are all separate from the animals, though. That's kind of weird. Whoa! Going across the world! the world right now.
There used to be countless animals here. This was a happening place. The simple rhino Simon. <laughs> Kameski the slow turtle. Neil the lion king. Oh my god. No one cares about art no more. Shit, two shops. Oh, a geo ring now. And the two pins. Stardew provides fast lifting of curses. Oh, I'm going to assume we're going to need those soon. Any hidden items here? Behind the waterfall? There's always something behind a waterfall in every game. Is that a dungeon up there too? It's on this side. Oh, there's a save. How do we get to it? Don't tell me there's a hidden thing. Oh, there's a thing you crawl under. No! No! Game three levels. <laughs> Dude, the <laughs> yeah, it's not just two years of content that respawned. They, 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 their entire server got hacked. Like their ent their entire data database got hacked. Everything is is completely open. They're they pretty much were caught up literally with everything they have down the pipe of the game. But I mean, at the same time, who cares? You know what I mean? <laughs> who gives a shit? There's nothing to be excited for anyways. I did take a peek though, but... I mean, these guys can't even get the hacking situation solved. They literally only hired one person on the eastern side and one person on the western side who, like, works on his own off time. Uh, just, you know, banning people from watching streamers. You know what I mean? It, it's sad. And now the mobile version of the game? Of Apex? Uh, they already have a hacker problem. Already. Already. Like, it's a joke. You know, what's up, Jaeger? It's all coming to mobile at first. It's like, it's like, bro. It's like, bro, dude, you know? Bro. So there's something behind this waterfall. Okay, this is gonna be kind of whack, because now we know there's stuff hidden through bushes and stuff. Oh yeah, this is a shop. Still haven't bought any spells, I'm waiting for Qual, I hope no spells. Or Jaeger to tell me if I should buy spells. Okay, can I exit here? I don't have to go in this cave, right? Wait, what? Mobile's the best gaming platform? Yeah, if you're a bum. Or a Nintendo fan. Yo, what's up, Mac? Zoo. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. 24? That does not sound right. And the music sounds intense. Like, I shouldn't be here intense. Yeah. Are we talking mobiles and handheld consoles or mobiles and iPhone games? Honestly, who cares? Okay, let's go up and finish this area first, and then we'll explore down here. Now, let me turn my speakers up because the music in this game is really good. Oh. 
I got a slushie today, guys. Relaxation night. Okay, well, let me check it out first anyways, yeah, girl. I'll act like, you know, I don't know what's ahead and I don't have a built-in Twitch chat strategy guide. What's the current mission right now? We restored the wind, now what? We have to wake up the animals, right? Lion den. Yeah, all the animals are gone. Or sleeping. Shit's deep, bro. Well, Jaeger wasn't lying. The other animals that aren't birds. Right. Exactly. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, let's go to that area then. Savannah. Okay, so this area is where it was going. Interesting. So I was quite power level, but looks like not. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for areas in the brush that we can uh, crawl under. This dungeon is pretty annoying. Well, the enemies do a lot of damage. Hey, Vesper. Uh, I didn't know you like SNES RPG retro games. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are like coming back to my stream now, now that I'm like uh, pretending to play fighting games again. And uh, we've been doing this retro stream thing for like two years now. And we've played uh, hundreds of games. Retro games. And we go by year, and we're on 1995 right now. We're just finishing up 95. Okay, let me check left here before I come down. But yeah, I missed out on so many amazing games. Storm clouds, weird. That sounds bad. But yeah, I just, yeah, I'm, there's so many games that I missed out on that I'm playing for the first time because I was too busy being a legendary Counter-Strike player. Oh, there's a park here we can go. Hmm. The music in this game is great. Yo, what's up, King? Yeah, chill stream tonight. I, I mean, I wanted to play more KOF, but, uh... But the matchmaking is just done. I tried changing the region. It didn't make a difference at all. It was ass. I mean, yo... I mean, if Qua is not too busy, maybe sometime we can play some sets or something. It was, not, it was pretty fun playing lobby matches with the chat as well. Uh, Vesper, any specific character you want to play once the Street Fighter 5 bounce patch is out? Uh, my default is like Ryu right now. Because I'm just sick and tired of seeing bad Ryu players. But, depending on the patch, right? We'll see. If, so if, if a patch looks really hype for a character, I can literally play anyone. I'm down to play anyone, bro. And we're not just gonna play one character, we're gonna bounce between a lot because, you know, can't find matches. Ever tried Romancing uh, Saga 3 or Tales of Fantasia? Uh, no, but they're on my list. They're on my list. I have like this giant massive list of games that I did some heavy research on and... Uh, we don't play all of them on stream, especially the very long ones, but... Like, you know, top RPGs and stuff I definitely won't miss. And the chat also uh, submits their own recommendations. 
this dungeon looks complex. Ooh, this plant. Is that an enemy? Little rain because of monsters means barren land. What green exists would be but mere specks in grass, grasslands of the past. Native made altars for holding rain ceremonies. We got the lore. It says the same thing. Uh, I wasn't planning to download Street Fighter 5 again, but with the KOF matchmaking being bad, it changed my mind. Well, did you guys see the... Matthew Edwards hyping up the patch notes. You guys see his uh, Twitter post? He was hyping that shit up, bro. He said, um... He said he read the patch notes and he says he can't, he can't wait to see the community's reaction. And he said, guess whose medium kick, standing medium kick, is now cancelable. Hopefully it's Luke. Uh, yeah, I posted on Discord. Yeah, Voodoo. Dude, JRPGs are the bomb, bro. Especially old ones, like... God, man. When I was a kid, I got an N64 instead of a PlayStation, and I... I missed out on some amazing games. Man, can you jump this? I don't think so. Something tells me we're gonna get an item that makes me jump further. Oh no, Luke! Okay, chest bottom right. Keep that in mind. Let's start heading north. It's kind of weird we get a message every time the enemy casts a spell or something. Okay, we already went up here. Let's check left. If I go down this way... Okay. Ow! Whoa! At least it doesn't stop the gameplay, like Castlevania 2. Is that what you're saying? It kind of does stop the gameplay. It stops me from grabbing this. That's what really blew my mind away, too, was in uh, Link's Awakening. That message every time you... forgot what it was. It was open a chest or something? Or use an item? It was, like, ridiculous. I mean, we're talking about an era. This is, like, not, not even... We're not even close to the digital era where every game should have a bunch of, you know, it should have a huge instruction booklet with a lot of information. That. I'm not gonna lie though, when I first played uh, Link to the Past as a kid, uh, I, I didn't know you can lift the bushes. So as a kid, I got stuck at the very start of the game for hours. But I never, I didn't even get frustrated. I, I The game was already sick by that point. I was like blown away just walking around the same areas over and over again. It's like, wow, this game's so cool. I'm stuck. I suck so many times in Link's Awakening, yeah. But it's it's amazing, uh it's amazing, like when we played it recently last year, how quickly we beat the game. We beat it in two streams. Or aced it in two streams.
You guys consider Final Fantasy VI the best of the saga? <laughs> you should wait for Etrot to get here if you want to get into debates over best series of games. He'll keep you going for hours. He'll he'll pop his head at some point here. Trust me. Oh, are these the altars? No, this is a tree, but an altar should be made out of stone. Nice crit. Mm, I've barely played that many Final, Final Fantasy games. I've only played uh, one, two, two twice. Oh, I played one twice, two twice. And then I played... 8, 9, 10, and a little bit of 12. That's it. <laughs> Final Fantasy 2. I'm, I'm still blown away how right you guys were about that game. Like, you guys hyped it up. Well, I, wouldn't, I don't know how hype would be the word, but. You guys warned me so hard about that game. Can we can go up there? And I doubted you guys, but holy fuck are you guys right? It's crazy. Chat's usually never right about anything. Damn, this dungeon is big, dude. Make your way to the Rainfall Altar. Thanks, buddy. That doesn't tell me shit. Okay, do I want to go up this way, or do I want to go back? Let me just check up here for a second. Yo, what's up, Acid? What up? Yeah, chill stream tonight. I wanted to stream a little earlier, but I... Uh, oh, I'm gonna get an item that burns this? We need an item that makes us jump further, and something that makes us burn these trees. Yeah, I wanted to get a slushy before the stream. Guys, this is a, kind of a little early announcement, but uh, I might be moving really soon here. I know I said I was going to get a place next year, but I might be moving in like... In literally two weeks. So I might disappear for a bit. We'll see what happens. Feels good to not have 50 comments at a time, actually. It depends, you know. It depends on the situation. Oh, Etron's here. See? Fucking clockwork. Etron, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Voodoo. Voodoo Etron. Oh, yeah. It's still gonna be super cold. Thanks, bro. Uh. Oh, shit. Can I. Oh. He doesn't do too much damage. He exhaled sharply. Get to the rain. Force him and control the weather at each rainfall altar. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. A knockoff to Link of the Past? Dude, what about that other game we played? Um Crusader of Senti or what the hell was that game called again, guys? The Genesis game? Crusader of Senti, or what the fuck was that game called? I was blown away by that game because I've never heard of it or seen it in my life. But you guys wouldn't shut the hell up about it being a knockoff of Zelda. Oh shit. Crusader of Senti, yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, the weather's getting better over here. The snow's uh, pretty much melted. It's fine now. Oh, Altar 1. When four souls join, 
A rain ritual will start. Oh, so I didn't clear out one of the areas. I understand. Okay. So we only need one more. Uno mas. Okay, so the altar is northwest. So we gotta find this unexplored area I didn't make it to. Oh yeah, it's this way. Tricky. Oops, I missed it. Anyways, what the hell was I gonna tell you guys? I was, telling, I was gonna tell you guys something. I forgot. Where in Canada do I live? I live in Edmonton, Alberta. Okay, how do I get to this? Oops. It's gotta be one one last area we didn't complete. Don't worry. I was gonna say, uh... Oh, did we go down this way? No, we came from that way. Ooh, huge crit. Nice. But yeah, as a, like what we were talking about before, like, you know, last night was just like, there's nothing going on, you know, like, the matchmaking was trash, we couldn't find a single match. All I was doing was just complaining about KOF. Like, if it wasn't for the chat being active, it would have been a boring ass night, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's good when the chat's super yappy. It just depends. Sometimes it is super overwhelming. It just really depends on the situation. Sometimes there's so much people in the chat and it's like, the conversations are kind of just everywhere and like, it's mostly just you guys talking amongst yourselves and I just kind of just doing my thing. Okay, was that the one I didn't get? I'm assuming so. Oh, can I crawl across here? Yeah, Mac, like I said, I changed my region. Because my region is set to Canada. And then I set it to US just to check out. I didn't do shit. It's the same thing. Dude, you should go on the Steam forums. The Steam forums is nuts. Uh, is that true, Vesper? You don't have a Switch? Well, I'm not a kid anymore, right? Okay, good, we got all of them. What? I feel an enormous power. Ascension. So now what? It's gonna rain? Or are the trees gonna sprout? Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense! What the hell? So, getting all those souls just... I don't know, it started landscaping? Wow, plants have returned to the barren land. Green is really a soothing color. <laughs> you can sleep on it and can feed animals. That's it. We need food. I should meet Simple Simon the Rhino. 
Okay, what? Where's Simple Simon? Oh, so I should- I have to go back to the original area now? Because I remember there was lines then, so... But now we can explore now, so let's try to get some treasure. <gasps> Defense potion. this do? Raises defense. I'm going to assume permanently. Yay. I need to heal. Oh, you're playing on PS5, Mac? That sucks, dude. Yeah, like I said, uh, I forgot who said it last night, but they're like... I was trying to explain the matchmaking is fucked for everything. And he's like, well, it's fine for me. <laughs> what? Like, what do you say to something like that? When someone says that to you, you know? I'm like, dude, you lag. That's fine for me. The story is super deep. We just restored grass and food for the animals. I don't know why there's only three animals, but that's fine. We need to find the rhino, the lion, the lion, and the turtle. And I need to grab these treasure chests while I'm at it. Fine on my end. I started watching uh, some Ryu, like top Ryu players. It was easy to find out which Ryu players were actually good. I just checked what V Trigger they were using. And uh, I learned some shit, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh, the tree disappeared. What the hell? You know what's up, Lesnar? Sticker. Upgrade on their spear. The good ones, V Trigger One, right? Uh, is that your final answer? Yo, Ava, what's up? Yo, did you see that trailer? That HBO trailer, dude? The the new Wire show? If you haven't, I'll give you a link. You haven't? Dude, it's fucking crazy, bro. The original writer... The original writer of The, of the Wire is making another HBO show. It's in fucking Baltimore, and there's a bunch of, uh, The Wire fucking actors in it. And it's, like, about- it's about Baltimore again, and, like, corrupt cops and shit. Let me give you a link to it. Uh, I'm super hype. Here, check out that link. Check out that link, bro. Tell me what you think of the trailer. If you get a chance to watch it. I'm super hype. Oh shit, where's this water taking me? It's down this way. Alright, cool, bro. I'm 
No, oh, wire is sick, dude. Wait, I already, I already did this part. Okay, let's go to the, the right side here and check where this wire takes me. Wait, didn't I have this? Oh, don't tell me I have to equip this specific spear. <laughs> yeah, Stanfield! Uh, don't tell me I need that specific spear. Grab the rock spear. Come on, that'd be dumb. No way! You need specific weapons for that? Come on, that's a cheap shot. I mean, as, as, dude, as long as, you know what I mean? As long as the producers don't restrict him of his talent, you know what I'm saying? Because he obviously had, a, like, a vision. As long as it's not, no, like, you know, producer tampering and shit, I'm sure the show is going to be good. Because there's, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm fucking dying for another TV show like that, like, badly. Dying, dude. Okay, have you ever seen The Shield, dude? I love The Shield. I've been dying for a show like that for a while. Hey, there's no water on this side, guys. It's weird. Yeah, I love The Shield. this whole path here. <laughs> yeah, the sergeant. This rock wall is shaped odd. It looks flimsy enough to knock down with a good puff of air. A good puff of air. Level up. Nice. So I'm assuming I come back here, Jaeger, like way, way beyond. Yeah, that's cool. They got a lot of, like, yeah, of the old, like, Baltimore actors. I always trip out too when I whenever I watch like The Wire again when they're like kids. I always I always trip out when I, I see what's his name uh, Jordan Beer. What, what's his name? I forgot his name. As Wallace as a kid, and I always it always trips me out. I'm like, holy shit, dude! He's like a fucking kid in this movie, in this show. Yeah. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, get a backtrack here. Yeah, bro. Because that show just does such a good job of like 
intertwining all the characters. It's great. Okay, the only area to check now is the south area, I guess, hey? kind of awkward. You gotta equip different spears. Yeah, dude. Frame was your favorite character? Yeah, natural police. Yeah, he was a good cop. He, like... He, like, he wasn't, like, fucking crazy, like, McNulty, but he also kind of, like, he, he wasn't, like, 100%, uh, like, a good cop, you know, fallen by the rules. He, kn he knew when to, when to cross the line and when not to, you know? Sometimes you just gotta play hard. Just the bottom right side, I think I didn't fully explore. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Mag Magnolty, kind of like... He just, he wanted to, yeah, prove a point. Exactly. But he was a good cop, though. But it, it also, you know... It also kind of like was the end of him. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> okay, I can't go to this right side, so I guess we're done with this area. Coming back here anyways. Okay, is there anything down here I need to check? I see there's this uh mountain valley area here. Check. Canyon. If you value your life, turn away and depart now, boy. Okay, let's fuck. Go talk to the animals. Yeah, Omar is super iconic. It's hilarious too because the dude the dude that Omar meets in prison and then backs him up when he's like going after the other this uh the captains. The dude that was with him in the car, that was the real Omar. Like the real life Omar, which was hilarious. Yeah, Butch sent us <laughs> after they scared the shit out of him. But uh, because the show does such a, uh, shows every single angle from every part of the city, um, it does such a good job giving us exposition without it being ham-fisted exposition. It's it's amazing. Where are these animals at? What 
Wait, there's no animals here. I haven't finished with Zoo yet? Are you serious? Oh, dude. Alright. Really? What, don't tell me, is it because of that wind park? There are four shrines? It's that big? Okay. I'll just pay more attention. Yeah, the, the whole- yeah, the Stringer Bell thing, that, that part, like, oh, that pissed me off so much because, like, you know, the faucet. <laughs> Go to the dry river, don't kill the frogs. The dry river. The faucet, dude. Because Streener, he technically made it. He achieved his goal, right? Which was to be completely legit, but... He basically entered a world that he didn't understand. <laughs> yeah, there are no bribes. Like, he's like, he's like a, a fucking... A center of politicians gonna be dirty like that? Are you kidding me? Exactly. Like, you crazy? The other dry river. Damn, yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run around just. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> who who we gonna hit? And then he's like, <laughs> he's like, this is this is some assassination shit or something. I forgot what he said. But he was like, this is assassination. <laughs> like we gonna get the feds on us. <laughs> Okay, what what about the the Dry River Northeast Jaeger? <laughs> yeah, you need a you need a professional, you know. <laughs> oh, did I go north here yet? Yeah, I did, I got the chest. What, what if you, uh, uh, toss this rock spear? Are you screwed? I guess maybe there's a shop you can rebuy or something stupid. It doesn't have a day and night cycle, but it has, like, triggers to, you know, manipulate what's going on. Uh, Sl yeah, Slim was a good soldier. He, he was loyal, too. Slim was loyal, like, uh, well, I don't want to do spoilers, but, you know. He, he got back, or he, uh, what's it called? Paid it forward with, uh, uh, Prop Joe and, uh, and when Omar had him dead to rights, he also, he didn't beg for his life, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was loyal. Okay, here's the two frogs. He said, do not kill the frogs. Okay, do these guys shoot wind? Let it hit you and let the recoil push you into- No way. Oh, 
What? It doesn't even push you, dude. Poke the frog? One sec. Bro, come on! Come on! I'd be stuck here for the rest of my life! I'd be stuck here- Dude, if I was put into a room, and they said you cannot eat or drink until you pass this dungeon, I would be dead. There's no fucking way I would have figured that out. Come on! That is, that is ridiculous. I was stuck here for a long time. Yeah, I wonder why. Come on, dude. That's too much. I found it by accident? Oh my god. Dude, that's horrible. Yeah, this is... Whew. I mean, they give you some hits, but damn, it's cryptic. I'd be so confused. I'd be like going back and forth between that animal area. Oh my god, guys. These games, they don't play, man. There's just. It's... You need, like, that. That, like, six year old imagination. You know what I mean? You have to, like. Try everything. Seven year old brain investor. That's what I'm saying. That's just too much. Oh, here's that altar. Well, at least I got all the, you know, the souls. Okay, so I'm assuming now this river is gonna get water now. What's that, Zach? You ever watch Cliffs of Poot on YouTube? All they do is make fun of his hairline in the comments? Really? <laughs> Who'd always on the phone? Always on the phone. It's funny. <laughs> All right. Time to explore. I want to backtrack to that other area now and check what's on the- Maybe that's probably where I have to go anyways. You guys said there's four shrines. Where am I going here? Anything hidden here? A lot of people don't like Season 2. Because it's so, it's so different than Season 1. But I, I do like Season 2 a lot. Because I, it's so important to show the working class, right? It's so important to show that. But there, there, I forgot which season is the one I didn't like. I think it was season... Maybe it was the last season. Maybe it was 5? It was either five or four. I don't know. I didn't like this. This, the school season. I think was was. Uh, I think that was four. I think five was the news outlet. What? Oh, this is brutal. Yeah, you're, this is killing me. This dungeon is ridiculous. Well, how did you figure this out on your by yourself? Yeah, I think I yeah that was season five. Yeah, I think that was the weakest season for me. I think it was because I just liked you know, Greener's crew, their whole operation. I I just liked their crew so much. I wanted that to keep going. Like season three was so good. Yeah, because, like, McNulty kind of, like, he bounced back and he was getting his life together. 
But it was like, the writers are like, well... They're like, you know, how do we get McNulty back on the show? And there really was no other way to do it besides seeing him, like, go down the rabbit hole again. So then it was kind of like, you know... Seeing himself destruct again. It's kind of like, you know, we've already been here. Oh, you use an FAQ claw? Yeah, this dungeon is like, dude. Not even a puzzle god would be able to figure this out. That's way too complicated. That's like going overboard. <laughs> You're not killing yourself, are you? Who said- I think it was, uh... What's his name? The chief that said that, right? Yeah, I was Rollins. <laughs> and I like how Carcetti was like trying to like tell him not to bury them, and they were so pissed off because they didn't want them to get away with it, right? But everything is so fucking corrupt. Everything is so corrupt, dude. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Carcetti after he was talking so much shit to, uh, the governor or whatever. Yeah, with the homeless. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're talking about the wire, Jaeger. We're talking about the fucking wire. It's just, the show is just too good. I watch that show, like, at least once, like, every two years. I just binge watch it. Okay, don't tell me I need to use these frogs again. Like if the if the if the frogs maybe just just use that attack normally, I could probably figure it out. But they don't do it unless you hit them. That makes it even more ridiculous. Oh, okay, thanks. You just watch close them on YouTube. That's what that's what Quad does. He he doesn't watch TV shows. He just watches clips of TV shows. But he watches so many of them, he pretty much knows how the show goes. I, don't, I can't do that. <laughs> because shows like The Wire or like Sopranos, there's pretty much, it's just jam-packed with too many good scenes that like even watching clips is not enough. Okay, how do I get here? Hold on, I'm showing a path here. Hopefully I don't have to crawl under or something. It seems like I restored the water here too. Okay, thanks Jaeger. Yeah, Breaking Bad I haven't watched in a while now. It's been a long time, but uh, I'm going to wait until Better Call Saul is done, and then I'll, I'll bounce back and watch, probably watch Breaking Bad after Better Call Saul is finally done on their last season. Oh shit, Breaking Bad, I'm going to leave. Don't worry, it won't spoil anything. At least I won't spoil anything. Well, they had to delay the last season of Better Call Saul because of uh, that injury or whatever, right? But I think they're on track now to release it. Yeah, dude, dude, no. Like, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, or The Wire, or Sopranos, or whatever, or even The Shield, like... I would never take away the enjoyment of that show. Like, go watch it. Mods, shoot spoilers, please. Don't worry, I'll be on my best behavior. I think, I think, Jaeger, if you, if you, if you enjoy Better Call Saul but you haven't watched Breaking Bad, I think it's more important to watch Breaking Bad f first because of the because of, like, the cameo stuff. It's kind of like when you're playing, like, Metal Gear or something, you should play in order of release. You know what I'm saying? It's better if you play it in order of release. 
because of the cameo stuff, you know? Like, when I'm playing these retro games, <laughs> I play them completely out of order, so when I'm going back and playing these old games, I recognize so many things. You know, like, when I'm playing, like... You know, when I'm playing, I put, like, my first Castlevania game was probably Symphony of the Night. And then now I'm, I start back at Castlevania 1, I'm like, whoa, these things are, in, like, in this game. You know what I mean? I'm like, wow, this song's from this game? I didn't know. And, dude, I played uh, Chrono Cross before Chrono Trigger, and... Just all this weird shit, I'm like, wow, this theme's actually from this game, like... You have to play things in certain orders. Play Street Fighter 2 before Street Fighter 5. You can't play MGS3 without playing MGS1. Exactly, like... Exactly, it just, it kind of ruins the novelty of it. Yeah, I see this log here. The game won't run, yeah. Certain precautions. It needs to see the save file before it runs. Got smoked. We already did this one, right? I'm so confused. Wait, this is a new altar? Dude, I'm so lost. Hey, Willy gave me a raid. <laughs> Willy, did you... <laughs> Willy stream today? I swear to God, I don't know if Willy even realized it. But you know how, like, when I play KOF, I literally complain about KOF for, like, the entire night? Like... You guys should see Willy's stream. Willy literally complains about Ryu for the entire stream. Like, non-stop complains about Ryu. It's wild. You went through the ultimate... He does. Because Ryu is shit. <laughs> see? He, like, can't, like... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Willy. Beatles, thanks for the ten bones, bro. Wait. It said 21 hours ago. Oh! Because Willy raided me, that's why. Yeah, I was like, what? Beatles said this yesterday. Anyways, Beatles, you're out there. Thanks for that 10 bones yesterday. Appreciate it. I forgot we had heated conversations last night. Dude, we're arguing over what is considered a, a comeback feature. And I was trying to explain that the KOF meter is a comeback feature. Because Ryu is supposed to be third strike good? What? Ryu's not even that good in Third Strike. Where's Qua? Qua? Qua plays Street Fighter 3. Help. Help vouch. What? Ryu's good? Dude, all you need to do is just parry his dungeon, no problem. It's not about it's not about earning gold, Willy. You have to be able to sustain and survive in it. Otherwise you're gonna keep flip flopping. You know, Willy, a lot of people come to my stream and they say, Hey Vesper, how do I get out of silver? How do I get out of gold? And I always gotta give them the speech, the reality speech, and I say, Remember, when you play rank. It's not made for everyone to get the diamond. Or Grandmaster, that's not how ranked works. It's about putting you where you belong, where you're supposed to be. And sometimes you have to accept the fact that you are a silver player. And you always will be a silver player, but that's fine. Because you're where you're supposed to be. That's what the rank system is for. Sometimes you're not supposed to be a gold. And that's fine. Sometimes it's the end of your story. Uh, Vester, if you make a video about comeback mechanics, 
You're getting a funny comment. It's just like when you tried to argue what a macro is. Yes. Wait, wait until you guys see Mirror's video. Oh, God. I'm so scared to release it. I don't know what's going to happen. This could be the end of Vesper Arcade. But Mir Mirror's video is coming out on Thursday. And it's going to be about one frame links. <laughs> oh, man. This one's going to be a doozy. I mirror, I mirror did that one. I'm like, I'm sure as hell not doing that video. Let mirror do that one. He can take the heat. Yeah, I, I ain't going anywhere near that shit. Fuck that. Willie says his story has just begun. Not if you keep playing Ryu. <laughs> I don't know what was going on last night, Spanx, but everyone was going ham on that one dude. Like I said, last night we had a lot of heated conversations. It was crazy. Mirror's brave. Yes, he is. Brave or naive? I forgot. I don't know what his name was. But everyone was like calling him a troll and shit. Everyone was on his ass. I didn't have to say anything. Luck. Nice. Am I gonna try Fortnite now because there's no building? I don't know. It's like I, I t like I was telling my stream Willie like once I took a huge break from Apex and Halo Infinite or whatever like FPS in general, I feel like I have no desire to come back now. It's kind of weird. Like like I'm sure this has happened to all of us, but like you have like this crazy addiction, whatever type of game it is, some crazy addiction. And then after you finally like overcome that addiction, you you kind of think of, you think back and you're like, man, how did I get so addicted to this? Maybe I just got burnt out. Who knows? But like, dude, there was this massive Apex Legends leak today. The biggest, the biggest Apex leak in history. Their entire database got hacked. So two years in the future of their content all got hacked. Maps seven different legends all the new guns everything the entire date like everything that the developers know we know publicly the entire thing got leaked like we're talking massive leak and i didn't even give a shit like i didn't even care to even like look at it all i took a glimpse and i didn't even care <laughs> apex legends death password is password yeah or or his birthday or something, you know? Oh shit, I'm kind of lost. Okay, we came down here. There was a chest. I got the chest. But, like I said, with, with Fortnite, it's like... It's like, yeah, the no building mode sounds awesome. But, like... I don't know, it's like, we got, we got this Street Fighter patch coming out at the end of the month. I'm busy enough as it is with Street Fighter 6 stuff and doing content again on the channel. You know, we're moving probably very soon. Like, I don't know, I just don't see, I don't see where I have time to play where I want to play it. I don't know. Yeah, like, having the option of no building is a great idea, because, oh, there's a lot of people that are, like, that's their main excuse. It's like, ah, I don't like the building part, right? Oh, let me talk to the plant. Yo, where's Jaeger? Jaeger, I'm lost again.
Jenger, no, where did he go? Go there. This area is like the new area. This is like the river being here is is new. So what does that mean? It means I have access to this island, which has that chest. The chest just gave me a potion. Oh, don't tell me I can crawl under here. The Halo Infinite streams were lit, kinda? Yeah, Halo- Dude, Halo Infinite, bro. Oh my god. They had such a good thing going, because they- You know, it wasn't Battle Royale, and it was- It was super popular, and like I said, everyone got into it, but... God, they missed that ride. That was brutal. Like that was like I said, that was the final nail in the coffin for me. That's when I was done, done, done. That shit. Let's check south here. Oh, that's the area. How did COD, Halo, and Battlefield all manage to fuck up? You know, it's all those games kind of had their own problems, but it's like a combination of incompetence and greed, you know? It's like, for a while now, skill-based matchmaking has really fucked up gaming. Like, really fucked it up. And, you know, one of the old Bungie devs actually talked about this whole skill-based matchmaking thing. And the idea of having a true skill rating... Because that was like the what skill-based matchmaking is supposed to be. If it's not like a scam, but... The idea of the match expecting you to play at your absolute best every match in a non-ranked setting is very stressful. It's a very stressful, right? If you think about it. Think about your match. Your match and the people you're playing against is perfect is perfectly on the skill a perfect skill level, right? So if you were to play a match where if you made a mistake, it could cost the entire match where you have to play at your absolute best over a series of games, it would become very stressful very quickly. Or sweaty, right? And it's over time, I think people are just so sick of it. Yo, Jaeger, I was screaming your name. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna circle around and go northeast, and then come back around again. Jaeger, I'm lost. I unlocked a river where you said the shrine makes the tree trunk disappear. And then, right here. So this area opened. Oh, okay. I'm going back then. Yeah, I, I, there was a single log that was blocked in then. Okay. I was gonna say, uh... I don't know, it kind of is kind of like weather in this... Or a day-night cycle. Anyways, with FPS, I think they kind of finally reached the point of... I wouldn't necessarily call it saturation, but the... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say.
Up the river or up here? Healed pretty soon. Another thing, too, is we cannot underestimate the influence of content creators. The big streamers have so much influence that if they're not enjoying the game, less people are going to want to play it. Because they're not streaming it, they're not promoting it. Pagan God, what the hell? What's up, God? What's up, Goblin? Uh, no, we didn't play Panzer Dragoon yet, but we're gonna play it soon. That's one of the Saturn games I have. We're too- we're too power level, we, we like, four-shot these bosses. Oh shit, Never mind. still alive. This is a crazy boss, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Because of my OCD, I'm still strong now. I waited long for this moment. Mammals change the monsters should regain their forms. But remember this. It is still too early for the world to be resurrected. Oh god, what's the next thing we gotta revive? We got mammals back though. Uh oh, mode 7. Giraffe. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a Hadouken. Hey, Power Surge, thanks for the 48, dude. What the hell are you talking about, Cole? I didn't notice anything. Let me talk to this guy. Ill illogical? No human should have appeared yet. Sure. Oh no, the human souls are under the snow mountains in the east? Humans are merely weak animals that are powerless before nature. Tell us this guy's problem! I'm the one that revived you in the first place, bro! Hey look! It's the rhino.
Leave me alone. Go talk to this guy. The lions live there. They might eat you. I like to see them try. Lions will accept you, Bisanto. They shouldn't be teaching kids that. You see a lion, you run your ass. I can't talk to this guy, Claw. He won't talk to me. He's not underwater, his head is literally above. His mouth is clearly there, I can see he can talk to me. Are these good guys? <laughs> I can hear what you're saying. They're just little cats, they're not even lions. Who's that? <laughs> Slightly more contract. Dude, that's the king, man. Where are you guys going? What if I go this way instead? Okay. You didn't even tell me anything. No. Let's talk to the wife. Well, isn't that the point? He's supposed to be in danger so he can beat the trials. Hey, where's the turtle? Isn't there supposed to be a turtle around here? Hey, Qua, when can I buy spells? I have so much money, I haven't spent a dime yet. When can I get magic? I got 22 of these things. What's the hold up here? When can I get powerful? Stardew. Oh, curses. Got 10 small bobs, 15 of these. I'm balling out of control here. So there's nothing up here. You already completed that area. There's that thing we're not supposed to go to. Well, that's where we're supposed to go to. Anything up here? It's a little forest area. It's over here. Rabbit. I have radio.
Whoa, what happened? I found something. Never mind. Do I still have nightmares about Final Fantasy 2? Not anymore. After defeating that game twice, I overcame my fear. The, fe the fear of a game where leveling is not fun. So why am I able to talk to cactuses? I'm so confused. Thanks, Owl. So helpful. Am I dead? Okay. Why well, Willie got Willie ran into an Alex player again? Yeah, yeah. All lions have to pass this test. My dad said it's meaningless to live if you can't pass. Oh, we got a teammate now? That's crazy. Is he gonna do anything? Why is he so slow? Why did the music change? Where's he going? Take that. Wait, there's a bunch of stuff I missed. Don't tell me I have to escort him. I think I do. But there's items I missed, Qual. Isn't there? Oh my god, he gets hurt. Uh... Okay, he's waiting for me. Okay, good. Good. I'll explore now that he's stuck there. Wait, what? How did he get over here in the first place? Wait, did this just appear out of nowhere? No, okay, never mind, never mind. Amnesia. Sick, absolutely nothing. Then what's the point of that being there? What's up here? Okay, OCD complete. Wait, what? Oh. Let's 
speedrunner's nightmare. Pitching him would be dangerous, Qua. He's being attacked. Wait, what? Oh, I just have to push it? Oh, cheeks! Wait there, I'm coming! You're so slow, let's speed up a bit. Damn, this place is a war zone. Take that. No way. What's up here? What? There's a path up here. Wait, why is he going down now? Where is he? Oh, oh, don't tell me I screwed up. Oh no. No. What the hell? It's so specific where he wants me to jump. We should double back. What? Boy. Oh my god, what's going on here? Dead in that way. Oh no. Uh, this way. 
I'm absolutely positive. Yep, we can foretell the future. Let's go. Oh, don't worry, Paul. I got... I have this handled. Don't worry. Professional. What is this? Is he following me? Probably is, it's just really slow. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes at Mach 3. Side of the screen. <laughs> you bet your ass have been power level. Okay, well, you go first. What the? Thanks, Yeager. I'll take that into consideration. Is that good? Where the hell am I? What the hell is going on? Yo, what's up, Stone? Where's it going? Man, he really likes repeating himself. What's the point of these vines? They just to piss you off? Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. On your mark. Yeah. Get set. Go. Okay. 
Okay, I have zero chance. Why wasn't he moving that fast before? He hustled me. Do I get anything if I win? No, you can't win. Let's party. Wait, what? Wait, where'd the line go? What the hell? Use this boulder. Holy cow. It's like a game made in 2020. No! Should have blocked it first. Hurry! More rocks! Hey, we got a crit with it. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was low of me to try taking advantage of your inexperience. Thanks, mud doll. Fool! Gullible, innocent fools like you are what sustain us. Goodbye. Oh no! Did I miss an item, Jaeger? Even if you grow old, you will face only the pain of betrayals. Holy cow, Claw, this game's not for kids. You seen some shit? This one's for a big guy. Oh no. It's stuck, I can't do anything. You're supposed to be immersed? <laughs> he said, I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm gonna do what I should have done six games ago. No, Liam. Robots can't harm humans.
What's going on up there? He killed him? Why? He said he wasn't going to do anything anymore. A keepsake. He literally killed the mud? Why? The mud... He surrendered. Wait, if he's able to call a gold, couldn't he have done that in the first place? Holy cow. Plot hole. Guys, this is how I'm getting to my new house when I move. No bird would be able to lift that much. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if they say anything different. Yo, what's up, Scorn? That was Persona. Persona! <laughs> Persona! <laughs> Remember that time I was asking Jim Qua, I was like, Okay, so they have to shoot around midnight, right? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, well... Is it midnight Japan time? What if you did it at midnight in like, you know, Canada? What would happen? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, these rules need to be much more thorough. <laughs> What's the best action RPG 16-bit in my opinion without Chrono Trigger? Well, I haven't played them all. And, but probably Secret of Mana. If we're not talking about Chrono Trigger, then Secret of Mana. No, Secret of Mana shits on Zelda, dude. It shits on Zelda. Secret of Mana shits on Zelda, dude. Unfollowed, dude. Zelda's a baby game. Come on. It's a baby game compared to Secret of Mana. Vesper hates Nintendo. <laughs> what? A link to the snooze. Dude, we beat Secret of Mana in, in two streams. Two easy streams. It was effortless. But when I played Secret of Mana on the stream, I relived my childhood again. And was fully immersed and engaged. Yeah, Zelda's a baby game. I think I like Link's Awakening more. So now what? Oh no. Oh no, he's coughing, Qua. Uh oh. 
It means he's getting old. <gasps> Neo's fame. What the hell does that mean? Neo's fame. <gasps> it's a weapon. Wow, plus three. Wait, why is cry? What? Where did I get cry spear from? Yo, where did I get the spear from? And why is this so pop? Oh, it goes down six. Oh, this is from the beginning. That's the one I heal used to heal me. Never mind. I got hyped for nothing. It was just weird because the position changed. Yo, be right beat. You are offended? Good. You being offended means that you find what I say being truthful to your heart. Deep down, you know I am right. Okay, let's go check that empty room. Okay, I have the fang. What does that mean? What obstacle is blocking my path? But this fang will allow me to, to go. I don't even remember. Enemies, hostiles. Hostiles. Okay, I remember there was that river northeast. Save too. Leave me alone. Okay, where do I go now? East to a river? What, the one I found on the world map? Holy shit, he did send the animals. Wow. Wow, I haven't bought magic yet and I got so many of these things. We haven't even used our first grass pin yet. And that's supposed to give us permanent health. We should buy some bulbs. <gasps> Fur coat? Wow, I'm buying this. Leopard. Wow, that was expensive. Yeah, I remember you told me that, Jaeger. I just gotta remember to use the damn thing. Okay, we're on the other side of the continent now. See a pathway there. Uh, nothing south. 